BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the Gospel of Yochanan, John. Vamos al Evangelio de Juan. John chapter 4, please. Juan capítulo 4. This is the 446 tape message. Este es el mensaje 446. It is called Maim Chaim. Y se titula Maim Chaim. Maim Chaim. Maim Chaim. 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 We're going to be saying it a lot. Maim. Maim. Chaim. Chaim. It means living water. Significa agua viva. What you're seeing up on the screen here Lo que están viendo aquí en la pantalla is an ice... Turn back to the other one, please. Is an iceberg es un tempano de hielo in Antarctica. En Antarctica. It looks like it's bleeding. Se ve como si estuviera sangrando. It was interesting that I received this picture this week. Es muy interesante que recibí esta foto esta Along semana. with a news story. Con una noticia. But I got the word I got this during the week, this y, picture. Y esta foto la recibí esta semana. But I got the word water. Y, uh, y recibí la palabra agua. On Monday. El lunes. Let's go through the sections of the message. Vamos a ver las secciones del mensa los I mensajes. will read it in English. Lo voy a leer en inglés. And mi hija Consuelo will read it in Espanol. Yes. All right. Section number one. The lesson from the well. Yeshua speaks about how he is the living water to a woman who was in the bloodline. He speaks to her about her adulterous life. He speaks to her about Maim Chaim, living water. She wants the Maim Chaim, but she really does not understand what it is. She does not understand because her tribe has mixed the truth with lies. So when the glass of living water was presented to her, she did not know what it was. In this first section, we will look at at the layers of truth being spoken of to a person who forgot the roots. Sección número uno, la lección del pozo. Yeshua le habla de cómo él es el agua viva a una mujer que pertenecía al linaje de sangre. Le habló también acerca de la vida adulteria que ella llevaba. Él habló de, habló del Maim Chaim, Ella quería el Maim Chaim, pero ella realmente no entendía de qué se trataba. Ella no entendía por qué su tribu mezcló la verdad con la mentira. Entonces, cuando se le presentó el vaso de agua viva, ella no sabía lo que era. En esta primera parte, vamos a ver las capas de la verdad que se dijo a una persona que se olvidó de sus raíces. Section 1B, Wedding at Cana. Why was this the first Brit Hadashah miracle? What does it have to do with us today? How does marriage stand against the enemy? How does inviting Messiah to your wedding feast change everything? How does one glass of water change the whole marriage? How does this account show us the sweet taste for those who stay, stay till the end and get the taste of the sweetest wine ever made? 
What does all this have to do with Maim Chaim? Sección 1B, bodas en el Cana. ¿Por qué este fue el primer milagro en el Bret Harashah, el Nuevo Testamento? ¿Qué tiene que ver con nosotros hoy? ¿Cómo el matrimonio de pie en contra del enemigo? ¿Cómo cambia todo si invitas al Mesías a tus bodas? ¿Cómo un vaso de agua puede cambiar todo, el, cambiar todo en el matrimonio? ¿De qué manera se encuentra? Estas muest nos muestra el sabor dulce de lo que es se queda hasta el final y llega a probar el vino más dulce que jamás se ha hecho. ¿Qué tiene todo esto que ver con el Maim Haim? Section 1C. Law of Jealousy. The water of embitterment is as true today as it was when first established. Many so-called followers of the word, both Jew and Gentile alike, think we do not have to follow the perfect Torah of our king. They say we can't follow or we do not have to follow. Both sets of these, uh, both sets of people are wrong, for the king of kings never changes. In this section, we will use the knowledge gained in previous sections to learn about the law of jealousy and embitterment. We will see later in subsequent sections of this message how Jehovah thinks his laws still apply in our time but it is not just for the Jew, but for all people. Sección 1C. Ley de los celos. El agua de amargura es tan cierta hoy como lo fue cuando se estableció por primera vez. Muchos de los llamados seguidores de la palabra, tanto judío como gentil, afirman que ya no tenemos que seguir la Torah perfecta de nuestro rey. Dicen que no podemos seguirla o no tenemos que seguirla. Los dos grupos de personas están equivocadas porque para el rey de reyes nada ha cambiado. En esta sección vamos a utilizar los con con conocimientos adquiridos en las secciones anteriores y aprenderemos acerca de la ley de los celos y la amargura. Más adelante veremos en las secciones posteriores de este mensaje cómo piensa Jehová de sus leyes que aún sigue vivientes en nuestros días, pero no son solamente para el judío, sino para todas las personas. Section 1D. I was a husband to them. Jehovah is our king, but he also calls himself our husband. We will learn about stones in this section. The stone from the previous section now, now hollowed out inside of us. We will see that way back even in the Old Testament, there was a prophecy about a personal relationship with Jehovah. How this scripture ties together with the wedding at Cana and the living water. Sección 1D. Yo fui un marido para ellos. Jehová es nuestro rey, pero él también llama a sí mismo nuestro esposo. Vamos a aprender acerca de las piedras de esta sección. La piedra de la sección anterior ya, ya ha excavado dentro de nosotros. Vamos a ver también que incluso en el Antiguo Testamento había una profecía acerca de una relación personal con Jehová. ¿Cómo este pasaje se paralela con las bodas de Canaán y el agua viva? Section 2. Water takes many shapes. Water is a fascinating thing. It never stays the same. It is con constantly changing. If it is cold, it is ice. But if it, the temperature changes one degree, the water will begin to change its state. Are we like that? In this section, we will look at our state of matter. Sección 2. El agua toma muchas formas. El agua es una cosa fascinante. Nunca per permanece en el mismo estado, pues está en constante cambio. Si hace frío, se congela. Pero si la temp temperatura cambia un grado, el agua comenzará a cambiar su estado. Somos, somos como eso. En esta sección vamos a ver nuestro estado de la materia. Sección 2B. No wine at the wedding. Our state has changed so much that we have forgotten our beloved. This was prophesied about in the book of Yemriyahu, how our cistern is broken. How do we forget so easily? Why is it that we run to Abba when we have a problem and we, infer, we forget to invite him in in our joy? He is jealous and there is a cost for our disrespecting him. Section 2B. No vino en las bodas. 
Nosotros, nuestro estado ha cambiado tanto que no hemos olvidado de nuestro amado. Esto fue profetizado en el libro de Jeremiah. ¿Cómo se rompe nuestra cisterna? ¿Cómo podemos olvidar tan fácilmente? ¿Por qué es que buscamos a Abba cuando tenemos un problema y nos olvidamos de invitarlo en nuestras dichas? Él es celoso y hay un costo para, nos, para nosotros. El falta de respeto hacia Él. Section 2C. What are signs and wonders? We left Egypt and there were no stores in the desert. No ATMs. No restaurants. But our king fed us with bread from heaven and living water from the rock. Why is it so easy to forget the miracles in our lives and follow the evil on instead? Sección 12. Señales y maravillas del agua. Salimos de Egipto y no había tiendas en el desierto. No había cajeros automáticos. No habían restaurantes. Pero nuestro rey nos alimentó con el pan del cielo y el agua viva de una roca. ¿Por qué es tan fácil olvidar los milagros de nuestras vidas y seguir el mal en su lugar? The special ingredient in the water. Perfect things need perfect ingredients. Only when you understand the law of embitterment and the law of jealousy will understand how important a little piece of wood is. Sección 3. El ingrediente especial en el agua. Las cosas perfectas necesitan ingredientes perfectos. No solo cuando se comprende la ley de la amargura y de la ley de los celos, podremos entender la importancia de un pequeño pedazo de madera. All right. It seems like a lot. Se ve mucho. Dan, could you go turn on the lights over there in the back, please? I know that. I don't want them now. It's, it's for a while. John chapter 4. Juan capítulo 4. The key is here. It's going to be a water throughout all these sections. Esta sección se va a tratar todo lo que es el agua. Yohanan 4, we're going to read verse 1 through 24. Juan 4, versículo del 1 al 24. When Yeshua learned that the Pirishim had heard he was making and immersing more Talmudin than Yohanan, although it was not Yeshua himself who immersed, but his Talmudin, Yeshua left Yehuda and set out again for the Galal. This meant that he had to pass through Shamron. He came to a town in Shamron called Shechem near the field of Yaakov he had, had given to his son Yosef. Yaakov's well was there. So Yeshua, exhausted from his travel, sat down by the well. It was about noon. A woman from Shamron came to draw some water and Yeshua said to her, give me a drink of water. His Talmudin had gone to, buy, gone to town to buy food. The woman from Shamron said to him, How is it that you, but you, ask for water from me, a woman from, of Shamron? For the Jews didn't associate with the people of, from Shamron. Yeshua answered her, If you knew God's gift, that is, who it is saying to you, Give me a drink of water, then you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. She said to him, Sir, you don't have a bucket, and the well is deep. So where do you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Yaakov, are you? He gave us this well and drank from it, and so did his sons and the cattle. Yeshua answered, everyone who drinks this water will get thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I will give him will never be thirsty again. On the contrary, the water I give him will become a spring of water inside him, welling up to eternal life. <laughs> Sir, give me this water, the woman said to him, so that I won't have to be thirsty and keep coming here to draw water. He said to her, Go, call your husband, and come back. She answered, I don't have a husband. Yeshua said to her, You're right. You don't have a husband. You've had five husbands in the past. And you're not married to the man you're living with now. You've spoken the truth. <laughs> Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. The woman replied, Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place where one has to worship is in Yerushalayim. Yeshua said, Lady, believe me, the time is coming. When you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. 
You people don't know what you are worshiping. We worship what we do know because salvation comes from the Jews. But the time is coming, indeed, it's here. Now when the true worshipers will worship the Father spiritually and truly. For these are the kind of people the Father wants worshiping Him. God is spirit, and worshipers must worship Him spiritually and truly. Amen? Amen. Let's look at verse 1 and 2. Vamos al versículo 1 y 2. When Yeshua learned that the Pirashim had, had heard that he was making an immersion more Talmudine than Yochanan, although it was not Yeshua himself immersed, but his Talmudine. Amen? Amen. This chapter begins with something. Ese capítulo empieza con algo. All the time when you're reading scripture, Todo el tiempo cuando estás leyendo las escrituras, what is so different about our Bible lo que es diferente de nuestras Biblias, compared to something like the Quran, comparado así como el Corán, is our Bible goes in an order. Nuestra Biblia va en orden. Where the Quran is is all over the place, Donde okay? Donde el Corán está en todas está todo mezclado. In this particular chapter, en este capítulo en particular, before Yeshua it speaks to the woman from Shamron, cuando antes que Yeshua hable a, a la mujer de Shamron, we see something that his Talmudin, his disciples, vemos sus discípulos, were immersing people. Estaban bautizando a las they personas. were going through the mikvah like we did this past week. Hicieron el bautizo así como hicimos nosotros esta semana que pasó. So there's an order of entering into repentance. Hay un orden de entrar cuando uno se arrepiente. Entering into the being kohanim. A ser el sacerdote. There's an order in our Bible. Hay un orden en nuestras Biblias. That one must take note of when they're reading. Que uno debe tomar en cuenta cuando uno está leyendo. Why do we, why do we talk about this immersion? Porque hablamos de esta sumersión. That's being done by the disciples. Que está siendo hecho por los discípulos. And then Yeshua comes to a woman. Y después Yeshua se acerca a una mujer. Who is in adultery. Que es una adultera. She's got she had five husbands. Ha tuvido tenido cinco esposos. And now she's living with some guy. Y ahora está viviendo con un why does he say that? ¿Por qué dice esto? And then he offers her, offers her a glass of living water. Y ofrece un vaso de agua vida. Why do we have things in this order? ¿Por qué tenemos estas cosas en orden? The mikvah is choosing something. El bautizo es decidiendo hacer algo. It is choosing to change your life. Es decidiendo cambiar tu vida. It is choosing to be part of the priesthood. Es decidiendo ser parte del sacerdocio. For Yeshua even himself went through the immersion with Yochanan. Porque Yeshua mismo también hizo el bautizo a través de Juan. And Yochanan said, I should be immersing you. Y Juan le dijo, yo debo ser bautizado por ti. But Yeshua said, what? Pero Yeshua dijo, ¿qué? No, we have to do all things that righteousness requires. Tenemos que hacer todas las cosas justas que se requieren. So before he offers this Maim Chaim to this woman, Antes de ofrecer esta agua viva a la mujer, we read about that his Talmudin leemos que sus discípulos are putting people through the immersion. Están haciendo que las personas sean bautizadas. They are professing faith in Yeshua. Están profetizando la fe a través de Yeshua. They are being baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Están siendo bautizados por el nombre del Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu. They are choosing to follow Messiah now. Están decidiendo seguir al Mesías ahora. And now we see something else. Ahora vemos algo más. Look at verse 5. Ven el versículo 5. He came to a town in Shamron called Shechem near the field of Yag, field Yaakov had given to his son Yosef. Amen? Amen. Why do we know where he is? Porque sabemos dónde, se, dónde está él. What is the purpose of us knowing this? ¿Cuál es el propósito de nosotros saber esto? See, the people of Shamron Las personas de Samiria were part of Israel. Eran parte de Israel. Because they had the well of Yaakov. Tenían el pozo de Jacob. But it's even more fascinating y es algo más fascinante that this area of Shamron esta área de Samiria had been given to Yosef. Fue dado a José. Who is Yosef? ¿Quién es José? The son who is a foreshadow of Messiah. El que es el hijo el cuarto la cuarta sombra del Mesías. The son who his brothers hated es el hijo que sus hermanos odiaban. because God gave him 
visions. Porque Dios se dio visiones. For his father, his earthly father loved him more than the other sons. Porque su padre terrenal lo quería más que sus otros hijos. So now we come to Shamron. Ahora llegamos a Samiria. To this well. A este pozo. Now, when Yosef was thrown in the well, Cuando José fue tirado al pozo, was there any Mayim Chaim in that well? Había agua vi viva en ese pozo. There was no living water in that well, right? No había agua viva en ese pozo, ¿verdad? When Joseph was thrown in, right, Cuando, Clarabel? Cuando José fue tirado al pozo, there was no water at the bottom, right? No había agua al final del pozo. Or he would have drowned. O se hubiera hundido, o ahogado. So here we come forward. Aquí nos ve. And Yeshua Messiah is coming to this well in Shamrock. Aquí vemos que Yeshua el Mesías llega a este pozo en Samaria. Now this water, this well now has water. Ahora este pozo tiene agua. But there's more to this. Pero hay más sobre esto. Because look at verse 5 again. Vean el versículo 5 de nuevo. He came to the town in Shamron called Shechem near the field of field Yaakov had given to his son Yosef. Amen. Amen. What happened in Jacob's life and Jacob's life? ¿Qué sucedió en la vida de Jacob? What was the one thing he did he do jujitsu with the angel? Él hizo jujitsu con el ángel. Did he take the angel and toss the angel and say, "Ha, I pinned you." Él escogió el ángel lo tiró y dijo, "Ha, ya te cogí." What did he do? ¿Qué hizo él? He wrestled with the angel all night long. Él peleó con el ángel toda la noche. Do we wrestle with God all night long? Nosotros peleamos con Dios toda la noche. Do we wrestle with God's word? Peleamos con la palabra de Dios. So now we're looking at this in Shechem. Ahora vemos esto en Sicar. Look at verse 9. Vean el versículo 9. The woman from Shamron said to him, "How is it that you, a Jew, ask for water from me, a woman from Shamron?" But the Jews don't associate with the people from Shamron. Amen? Amen. But she says later on that our father Jacob. Dice más adelante nuestro padre Jacob. What is wrong with these people at Shamron? ¿Qué es que pasa con estas personas de Samaria? Why don't they associate? Why don't the Jews in Jerusalem associate with them? Porque los judíos de Jerusalén no se asocian con ellos. Because when the two kingdoms broke apart. Cuando los dos reinos se quebrantaron. The people from Shamron. Las personas de Samaria. That's where Dan's tribe was. Ahí donde viene la tribu de Dan. And they took in a lot of pagan things. Y cogieron muchas cosas paganas. They mixed in a lot of worldly things into their faith. Y mezclaron muchas cosas mundales en su, en su fe. So now Yeshua comes to this woman. Ahora Yeshua viene donde esta mujer. And Yeshua is willing to forgive. Y Yeshua está dispuesto a perdonar. He's willing to give her this glass of living water. Y está dispuesto a esta agua, a esta agua viva. But she says. Ella dice. Why are you a Jew? Porque eres un judío. Asking me. Preguntándome. For a cup of water. Por un vaso de agua. You don't associate with us. Tú no te asocias con Talk nosotros. to the hand. I am not talking to you. No te voy a hablar. She gives him attitude. Ella le da una forma you see that in the scripture? Ven Look at verse 9. Ven el versículo 9. I'm going to read it with some attitude now. <laughs> a leerlo con un poco de... The woman from Shamron said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask for water from me, a woman from Shamron? <laughs> for Jews don't associate with the people from Shamron. She's giving him attitude. Ella está siendo un poco grosera con él. She's living a pagan life. Ella está viviendo una vida pagana. Now we know from 2 Kings. Vemos en la segunda de Reyes. Chapter 17. Capítulo 17. You don't have to turn to it. This is just a reference. Esto es una referencia. From 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 24. Segunda de Reyes capítulo eh, 2 Kings 17, oh, capítulo 17 verse 24, versículo 24 that the people of this area que las personas de esta área mixed with the pagans se mezclaron con los paganos and they started to do a lot of pagan different things y empezaron a hacer muchas cosas paganas diferentes but here Yeshua Messiah aquí vemos que Yeshua el Mesías is going to the lost sheep of the house of Israel está yendo a, la, a, la, a las ovejas perdidas de Israel Give me a glass of water. Dame un vaso de agua. You're talking to me? ¿Me estás hablando a mí? Carmen, are you talking to me? Carmen, ¿me estás hablando a mí? Well, there's nobody else here. You must be talking to me. No hay nadie más, así que debes estar hablando conmigo. You want me to give you a glass of water? ¿Tú quieres que yo te dé un vaso de agua? 
Look at verse 10. Vean el versículo 10. Yeshua answered her, If you knew God's gift, that is, who it is saying to you, give me a drink of water, then you would have asked him, and he would have given you living, living water. Amen? Amen. He would have given you Mayim Chaim. Te hubiera dado agua viva. Imagine Messiah coming up to you. Imagínate que el Mesías se, viene, se acerca Mila. a ti. Amila. Imagine the Messiah coming up to you. Imagínate el Mesías acercándose a la comes into contigo. your shop. Y entra a tu tienda. Would you like your shirt pressed, sir? ¿Te gustaría que tu eh, camisa fuera planchada? And he says, no, I'd like a glass of water. No, me gustaría un vaso de agua. What would you say? ¿Qué dirías tú? Would you like a glass of water? ¿Te gustaría un vaso de agua? Living water? De agua viva. But here this woman didn't know who she was talking to. Aquí vemos que esta mujer no sabía con quién estaba hablando. What is Jehovah's gift? ¿Cuál es el regalo de Jehová? Yeshua said God's gift. Yeshua dijo que el regalo de Dios. And he's talking about water. Y está hablando lo que es agua. What is this living water? ¿Qué es esta agua viva? That this woman from Shamron should have known about. Que esta mujer de Samaria debía de saber. How would she know? ¿Cómo debía ella de saber? If she had been going to synagogue. Si estaba yendo a la sinagoga. If she had been taught by the rabbis. Si fue enseñada por los rabinos. The words of God. Las palabras de Dios. When somebody asked for this living water. Cuando alguien pregunta por esta agua viva. Or somebody spoke about this living water. O alguien habló sobre esta agua viva. Something would have popped in her mind. Algo entró en su mente. Little things, people. Cosas pequeñas. When God does something out of the ordinary in your life. Cuando Dios hace cosas uh, uh, maravillosas en tu vida. Pay attention. Pon atención. Pay attention. Pon atención. Because it might be something little that leads to something larger. Debe ser algo pequeño que te lleva a hacer algo más grande. But you don't be like the baby. Pero no te sientes como el bebé. She just wants to talk. Ella quiere hablar. But you say you listen closely. Pero escuchas atentamente. If she had just been polite, this woman from Shamrock. Si hubiera sido una mujer educada, esta mujer de Samaria. But she was not walking with Torah. Pero ella no estaba caminando con el Torah. Yeshua says. Yeshua dice. I'm going to give you a gift. Te voy a dar un regalo. I'm going to give you this living water. Te voy a dar esta agua viva. What would you say? ¿Qué dirías tú? Would you say, where can I get this living water? Look at verse 12. En el versículo 12. You aren't greater than our father Yaakov, are you? He gave us his well and drank from it, and so did his sons and his cattle. Amen? Amen. This woman was giving him attitude. Esta mujer tenía una actitud hacia She él. was being arrogant. Era una mujer arrogante. Instead of affection. De mejor ser una persona con amor afectuoso. How, how hard would it have been como, ¿Qué difícil sería esto? To give the guy a glass of water. Darle una, a una, una persona un vaso de agua. How hard is it to be nice? ¿Qué difícil sería ser agradable? If somebody asks you for something. Si alguien te pide algo. Somebody comes up to you. Alguien viene hacia ti. And asks you for a glass of water. Y te pide un vaso de agua. Can you give them a glass of water? ¿Le darías un vaso de agua? How hard is that for us to do? ¿Qué difícil es eso para hacer esto? It says in scripture that you might be entertaining angels unaware. En la, en la escritura dice que pronto tú estás entreteniendo a ángeles sin darte cuenta. Yeshua came to this woman. Yeshua vino hacia esta mujer. And now in verse 12, Ahora en el versículo 12, you see that this woman says, "Our father Yaakov." Aquí vemos que la mujer dice, "Nuestro padre Jacob." Here was a woman that didn't know about her own Messiah. Aquí vemos una mujer que no sabía de su propio Mesías. She didn't hear about all the miracles that he had already performed. Ella no había escuchado todos los milagros que le había hecho. She didn't know about this Mayim Chaim. Ella no sabía sobre esta agua viva. Claribel. Claribel. If Yeshua came to you. Si Yeshua se acercara hacia ti. Claribel, can I have a glass of water? Claribel, ¿me puedes dar un vaso de agua? What would you say? ¿Qué dirías tú? Would you like some ice in it? ¿Te gustaría hielo? Would you like a twist of lemon? O un, un poquito de limón. What would you do? ¿Qué harías tú? 
So here this woman was saying, our father Jacob. Aquí estamos diciendo nuestro padre Jacob. She was giving an attitude instead of listening. Ella está dando una actitud de mejor estar escuchando. Do we give God an attitude? Nosotros le damos una actitud. How many people give attitude to God this week? Cuando le dimos una actitud grosera a Dios. How many people gave attitude to God this week? Cuando vimos dimos una actitud grosera hacia Dios. Let me tell you how to run things up there. Te voy a decir cómo tienes que manejar las cosas desde allá arriba. No. Nobody no. told God how to run the universe this week. Nadie le dijo a Dios cómo tiene que manejar el universo. Go on, be honest. Even a little uh, recommendation. Sea honesto, sea un poquito de recomendación. A little recommendation to God. Hey, 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 if I were running. Un poquito de recomendación de pronto. Okay. See, you just got to think. <laughs> But sometimes. Pero a veces. We need to listen better. Tenemos que escuchar mejor. This guy's a Jew. Este hombre es un judío. We don't associate with the Jews. Nosotros no nos asociamos con los judíos. But he's asking me for some water. Pero él me está pidiendo un vaso de agua. You step back for a second. Te echas un poco hacia atrás. When God does something out of the ordinary in your life. Cuando Dios hace algo fuera de lo común en tu vida. He may be trying to bring you the Mayim Chaim. Está tratando de llevarte el agua viva. And you want a soda instead. Y quieres una soda mejor. Or you want some guava juice. O jugo de guayaba. He might be trying to offer you something. Está tratando de ofrecerte algo. But you are not accepting of it. Pero tú no lo estás aceptando. Look at verse 14. Vean el versículo 14. But whoever drinks the water I will give him will never be thirsty again. On the contrary, the water I give him will become a spring of water inside him welling up into eternal life. Amen. Amen. God wants to give you this living water. Dios quiere darte esta agua viva. He's saying, you're never going to go thirsty again. Nunca vas a tener sed. He's going to say you're going to have this water that's going to give you eternal life. Esta agua te va a dar toda la etern vida eterna. It's going to build up inside of you. Va a crecer dentro de ti. How do we get this building up inside of us? ¿Cómo adquirimos que esta agua crezca dentro de nosotros? How do you get this well to start Welling up inside of you. Como este pozo empieza a hacer agua dentro de nosotros. See, the more you get from God, lo más que recibes de Dios, the more you should want from God. Lo más debes desear de Dios. When you taste that sweetness, cuando pruebas esa 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 dulce, of following your first Shabbat, de seguir tu primer sábado, and you hear that shofar's cry to call to order, cuando ese shofar llama para llamar el agua, it should be something that you don't ever want to. Miss again. Eso es algo que no quieres volver nunca a perder. And when you miss, Marta. Y cuando pierdes. You say, I don't like that feeling. No me gusta esa sensación. I like that feeling that's inside of me. Me gusta esa sensación que está dentro de mí. Learning about God's ways. Aprendiendo sobre los caminos de Dios. Leave me learning God's order. Estás aprendiendo el orden de Dios. This eternal life that he's talking about. Esta vida eterna que él está hablando. See, sometimes springs start off in little bubbles. A veces empiezan pequeñas burbujas. But then when you turn that water faucet on a little more, y cuando abres un poco más la llave del agua, you get the more of that living water living inside of you. Y adquieres más de esa agua viva que está dentro de ti. But Yeshua says here. Pero Yeshua dice aquí. This glass of living water. Este vaso de agua viva. This spring of water. Esta agua viva. Will come inside of you. Va a entrar en ti. Welling up. Creciendo. To eternal life. A llevándote a la vida What eterna. What does welling mean? Qué significa entrar Building. en ti. Creciendo dentro de ti. Building little by little inside your life. Construyendo poco y poco dentro de tu vida. Now we had an interesting question before service. Tuvimos una pregunta interesante antes del servicio. Our new sister was asking some questions. Nuestra nueva hermana estaba haciendo unas preguntas. And the other ladies were trying to answer a question very honestly. Y las otras damas estaban tratando de contestar honestamente. So I came out of my office. Y salí de mi oficina. And said, "Don't worry about kosher." No te preocupes de lo kosher. I don't care about kosher right now. No me importa lo que es kosher ahora. Now it was good what everybody was doing. Era bueno lo que estaba haciendo todo el mundo. Era bueno. But let's worry about the major things first. Preocupémonos de las cosas más grandes primero. Let's build. Empecemos a construir. This little cup of water of Shabbat. Este vaso pequeño de agua que es Shabbat. And everything else will follow after. Y todo después va a seguir. Because the more you want it, honey. 
lo más que tú deseas. The more you want that glass of water each and every Shabbat. Cuando tú deseas más ese vaso de agua cada sábado. The more you're going to want everything else that's in the Word. Vas a querer más lo que se encuentra Amen? en la Biblia. Building up, welling up. Construyendo, creciendo. And it's a journey, everybody. Y es una jornada. It's a journey from Egypt es una jornada desde Egipto to the promised land. hasta la tierra prometida. Building up inside of you, Carmen. Creciendo dentro de ti. Little by little. Poco a poco. Margarita, little by little. Poco a poco. Welling up inside of you that you want more. Creciendo dentro de ti quieres más y más. Look at verse 15. En el versículo 15. Sir, give me this water, the woman said to him, so that I won't have to be thirsty and keep coming here to draw water. Amen? Amen. She wasn't getting it. Ella no iba a obtenerlo. She was not getting it. Ella no iba a obtener esta It was like throwing a ball against the wall. Bang! Es como tirar una bola contra la pared. Give me some of this so I don't have to come here no more. Dame esa agua para no regresar más aquí. I don't want to do this work anymore. No quiero hacer este trabajo más. No, that's when you really begin your work. Once you get the living water, Victor. That's when you start building in your life. Tearing down the things that are not of God. This woman just wanted it easy. Sounds like the Christian church. We're under grace. We can do whatever we want. Fornication, great. Estamos bajo la, la gracia, podemos hacer todo lo que queremos. La Homosexuality, no that's fine. La homosexualidad está Eat bien. Eat the pig, that's great. Come cerdo, está bien. Give me this living water. I don't want to work anymore. Dame esta agua bien, no quiero trabajar más. Welling up inside you. Creciendo dentro de ti. Means a desire for something of God more than any thing else. Deseando las cosas de Dios más que cualquier otra cosa. She, this woman from Shamron. Esta mujer de Samiria. She wants to sell item. Quiere la, el, el artículo de venta. But she doesn't want to work for full price. Pero no quiere trabajar por precio completo. Everybody likes to sell, right, Oscar? Todo el mundo le gusta los especiales. Oh, give me that thing for uh, five dollars instead of ten. Dame eso por cinco de mejor y no de diez. I'm Jewish. I never pay full price. Yo soy judío y no pago precio. We know how to haggle for things. Yo sé cómo crí las cosas. Mila says a dollar ninety nine per garment at her store. Uno no noventa. Ninety nine cents, Mila. Noventa nueve centavos mejor. That's why I know she's Jewish. She likes to haggle. Look at verse 15. Sir, give me this water, the woman said to him, so I won't have to be thirsty and keep coming here to draw water. Amen? Amen. She's not getting what he's saying to her. Ella no, no entiende lo que le está diciendo In the verse before, he's talking about eternal life. En el versículo está hablando sobre la vida eterna. And she's talking about worldly things. Y está hablando de cosas mundanas. I don't want to go to that well anymore and no roll up that well thing. It's heavy. No quiere ir más al pozo y sacar el agua. Eso está muy pesado. He's talking about eternity and she's talking about physical labor. Ella está hablando sobre la eternidad y está hablando de trabajo físico. Verse 16 and 18. Let's look at verse 16 through 18. Versículo 16 al 18. He said to her, Go call your husband and come back. She answered, I don't have a husband. Yeshua said to her, You're right. You don't have a husband. You've had five husbands in the past. And you're not married to this man, to the man you're living with now. You've spoken the truth. Amen? Amen. He didn't say you've had five dead husbands. No dijo que tuviste cinco esposos muertos. Man, you just keep killing those husbands. Y es matando esos esposos. He didn't, he didn't say that to her now, did she? Él no dijo eso, ¿verdad? It's like my mother, she killed two guys. Es como mi mamá que mató dos hombres. And so it's Jewish women, they'll get you. That's why I didn't marry one. <laughs> I'm going to pray for my son Connor. <laughs> he says you had five husbands. Dice que tuvo cinco esposos. They didn't all die. Y todos, murió. You didn't marry a bunch of them. Y no se casó mucho con ellos. So what does it say about this woman? ¿Qué dice sobre esta mujer? She gets around a little bit. Ella se ubica que ha caminado mucho. Says a little bit about her character. Dice un poco sobre su carácter. Says about the character of this woman. Habla sobre el carácter de esta mujer. You've had five husbands. Has tenido cinco esposos. You can hear that in the scripture, right? Puedes escuchar eso en las escrituras. You know, you want to give me some attitude? I'll give you some attitude right on back. You asking me for a cup of water? You've had five husbands. Tú has tenido cinco esposos. Five. Cinco. Five husbands. Cinco esposos. 
And now you're living with the sixth guy. Ahora estás viviendo con el sexto. Hombre. Woman, like you got a, a serious situation here. Mujer, tienes una situación muy seria aquí. But he's trying to give her the living water. Pero está tratando de darle el agua viva. God is our husband. Dios es nuestro esposo. And he's trying to give this beautiful bride. Está dando esta a esta novia. Living water. Agua viva. But she's not desiring the living water. Pero ella no está deseando el agua viva. She's not desiring to be with God. Ella no está deseando estar con Dios. She's not desiring to please her heavenly husband. Ella no está deseando esta, uh, este, ser bueno con su esposo que está en el cielo. She's just looking to do things easy. Está tratando de hacer las cosas más fácilmente. This, this woman can't keep a vow. Esta mujer no puede tener un voto. She had five husbands. Tenía cinco esposos. But she wants this living water. Pero ella quiere esta agua viva. Being adulterous, siendo una persona adulta, and now you want this eternity. Y ahora quiere esto esta eternidad. Well, Yeshua is willing to forgive. Yeshua está dispuesto a perdonar. Margarita, he's willing to forgive you. Margarita está dispuesto a perdonarte. He's willing to forgive us. Está dispuesto a perdonarnos. If we want to become truly his bride. Si verdaderamente queremos ser su novia. Look at verse 22. Ven el versículo 22. You people don't know what you are worshiping. We worship what we do know. Because salvation comes from the Jews. Amen? Amen. Anybody want to say that Messiah is not Jewish, you let them read this verse. Cualquier persona que diga que Yeshua no es judío, le puedes decir que lean este versículo. You know, people want to say, oh, the Jews are so bad. La gente dice, los judíos son tan malos. Christians divesting from Israel. Cristianos hablando de Israel. Let me give you a quick hint. Voy a dar una clave aquí. I know you may not know this. Pero yo pronto sé you que may no not have heard this in a while. O no lo has escuchado anteriormente. I'm going to tell you a secret, Melissa. Te voy a decir un secreto. Keep this to yourself, though. Y mant mantén esto para ti. Cheryl, I'm going to tell you a secret. You're new here. Cheryl, te voy a decir un secreto. Secret, secret about this place. El secreto de este sitio. Don't tell anybody. No le digas a nadie. That guy they call Jesus. Ese hombre que llaman Jesús. Want to know something about him? Saber algo de él? He's Jewish. Él es judío. He's Jewish. Él es judío. Don't tell anybody. No le digas a nadie. <laughs> Salvation comes from the Jews. He's trying to give her something. La salvación viene de los judíos. Le está tratando de darle. I just don't algo. want to work anymore. Yo no quiero trabajar más. I should, Oscar, he's trying to give her this glass of living water. Oscar le está tratando de dar esta agua viva. Eh. He's trying to give her the truth. Le está tratando de la verdad. And she doesn't want to hear the truth. Y ella no quiere escuchar la verdad. Look at verse 23-24. Ven el versículo 23 y 24. But the time is coming indeed it's here now when the true worshipers will worship the Father spiritually and truly. For these are the kind of people the Father wants worshiping Him. God is spirit. And worshipers must worship Him spiritually and truly. Amen. Amen. What does it mean to worship God truly? ¿Qué significa adorar a Dios verdaderamente? In the rest of today's message, en el resto del mensaje del día de hoy, we're going to follow this theme of water. Vamos a seguir este tema de solo sobre el agua. The theme of the bride and accepting the living water. Y la, el tema de la novia aceptando el agua viva. Because this woman from Shamron, esta mujer de Samaria, her tribe had mixed paganism in with the religion of her fathers. They had added in man-made things. Ellos metieron cosas hechas por el hombre. That is the very worst thing that we could do with our walk with God. That's why I spend so much time in the news. Por eso yo tomo mi tiempo dando las noticias. Going over the holy days. Y repasando los días santos. That we got to sight the moon. Que tenemos que ver la luna. I know it may be hard for people. Yo sé que es un poco difícil para las personas. But I don't want you to have, this place does not give you Talmudic teachings. Este sitio no te da ninguna enseñanza talmúdica. This place does not teach Christian doctrine. Ni esta, este lugar tampoco enseña doctrinas cristianas. Because we see what happened to the woman at Shamra. Vemos lo que le sucede a la mujer de Samaria. She didn't even know her own Messiah. Ella no conocía a su propio Mesías. The time is coming, Victor. El tiempo se está acercando, Victor. That God wants you worshiping in spirit que Dios and in truth. Que adores en espíritu y verdad. Mila, he wants you worshiping in spirit and truth. Mira, quieres que la adore en espíritu y verdad. No matter what it may cost you. No importa lo que te cueste. 
it will well up for you for eternal life. Va a crecer para que tengas vida eterna. We're going to learn all about this living water today. Vamos a aprender sobre esta agua viva el día de hoy. We're going to look at a law in a moment. Vamos a ver una ley en unos momentos. After we get through some of these other sections. Cuando ya hagamos el resto de las secciones. About the law of jealousy. La ley de los celos. And the law of embitterment. Y el, la, la ley de, de engaño. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B E T H. G O Y I M dot org and click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. Thank goodness, it's next to the Kabbalah water. Hola, why Kabbalah? I found it in a Gujarat. <laughs> Well, what is this living water that he's offering us ¿Qué es esta agua viva que está ofreciendo el día de hoy? Let's go on to section 1B. Vamos a la sección 1B. The wedding at Cana. La boda de Canaan. Yochanan, turn to Yochanan chapter 2, please. Vamos a Juan capítulo 2. Yochanan chapter 2, please. Juan capítulo 2. We're going to look at verse 1 through 10. Vamos al versículo del 1 al 10. Anybody learn anything so far today? Carmen, you learn a little something? Victor, all right, Victor, he's persevering through. <laughs> Livio, I'm going to get you some coffee. <laughs> John chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. Juan capítulo 2, versículo del 1 al 10. Anybody got John chapter 2, Yochanan 2? ¿Qué tiene Juan capítulo 2? On Tuesday, Greek, the third day, equivalent to Hebrew, Yom Shlishi, there was a wedding at Cana in Galal. And the mother of Yeshua was there. Yeshua too was invited to the wedding along with his Talmudim. The wine ran out, and Yeshua's mother said to him, They have no more wine. Yeshua replied, Mother, why should that concern me or you? My time hasn't come yet. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone water jars were standing there for the Jewish ceremonial washing, each with the capacity of 20 or 30 gallons. Yeshua told them, fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. He said, now draw some out and take it to the man in charge of the banquet. And they took it. The man in charge tasted the water. It had turned into wine. And he, didn't, and he did not know where it had come from. But the servants who had drawn the water knew. So he called the bridegroom. And he said to him, everyone else serves the good wine first. And the poor wine after people have drunk freely. But you have kept the good wine until now. Amen. Amen. Let's look at verse 2. Vamos al versículo 2. Yeshua too was invited to the wedding along with his Talmudin. Amen. Amen. Do you invite God to your wedding? Invitas a Dios a tu boda. Do you invite God into your life? Invitas a Dios en tu vida. Now during the time of Messiah. Durante el tiempo del Mesías. If somebody was having a wedding in a town, si alguien tenía una boda en un pueblo, since you were living basically with all your family, básicamente estás viviendo con toda tu familia, everybody got invited to the wedding. Todo el mundo era invitado a la boda. So here Yeshua was invited to this wedding at Cana. Aquí Yeshua fue invitado a esta boda en Canaán. Do you invite him into your life, though? Lo invitas en tu vida. Do you serve him at your table? Do you invite him to your celebrations? When Consuelo and Connor get married. And we stand under the chuppah. And it's underneath the talit. We are inviting God into the wedding. Estamos invitando a Dios que entre a la boda. Because the family is coming together underneath the chupa. Porque una familia se está juntando bajo la chupa. Underneath God's commandments. Bajo los mandamientos. Inviting de Dios. God into the marriage. Y invitando a Dios que entre al matrimonio. So that their marriage would have the living 
water. Y así su matrimonio tendrá el agua viva. So many marriages fail. Muchos matrimonios eh, se because pierden. Because they don't invite God to their wedding. Porque no invitan a Dios a su boda. If you are the bride of Messiah. Si eres la novia del Mesías. Are you inviting him into your house? ¿Tú estás invitando que le entre a tu casa? Do you want his living water? ¿Tú quieres su agua viva? Look at verse 3, 4, and 5. Vean el versículo 3, 4 y 5. The wine ran out, and Yeshua's mother said to him, They have no more wine. Yeshua replied, Mother, why should that concern me or you? My time hasn't come yet. His mother said to his servants, Do whatever he tells you. Amen? Amen. Sometimes in a marriage, a veces en un matrimonio, if you don't invite God, invite God to your wedding, no invitas a Dios a tu boda, The sweetness will run out in your marriage. La dulzura se va a acabar en tu matrimonio. I could tell you that from having this ring on for 26 years. Puedo decirte esto porque he tenido este anillo por 26 años. That without God, the sweetness would have run out a long time si ago. Si no estuviera Dios, la dulzura ya se hubiera ido hace mucho tiempo. Here at this wedding, en esta boda, Yeshua's mother comes to him. La madre de Yeshua se acerca hacia él. And she says the wine ran out. Le dice que ya no hay vino. You'll know what to do, Bubby. Tú sabes lo que vas a hacer. Uh, I'm adding a little bit to the scripture there. <laughs> it's being a little Jewish here. You'll know. It's, it's a Jewish mother coming to her son, guys. Es una madre judía que se está acercando a su hijo. Yeshua. Yeshua. The wine ran out at the wedding. La, la, el vino se acabó para la boda. Ima, it's not my time. Ima, no es mi tiempo. You'll know what to do. Tú vas a saber qué tienes que hacer. See, when God is part of your marriage, cuando Dios es parte de tu matrimonio, that you're inviting him there, y lo estás invitando ahí, when things are not as sweet, cuando las cosas no son tan dulces, he will come in to va, pour back that living water. Él va a entrar a poner esa agua viva. But only if you're inviting this Torah observant Hebrew guide to your life. Si estás, estás invitando a un, a un hombre judío que sigue el, el Torah. Yeshua is not going to offer you a ham sandwich. Yeshua no te va a ofrecer un sándwich de jamón. He's not going to put up a Christmas tree. Y no va a poner un árbol de Navidad. But Hane, if you invite him into your house. Hane, si tú lo invitas a tu casa. When things don't look so good. Cuando las cosas no se ven muy bien. He's going to be that good maitre d. Él va a ser ese buen hombre. And he's going to come over and fill you back up. Y te va a volver a llenar tu vaso. He's going to pour the living water to the bride. Le va a dar esa agua viva a la, a la novia. If you're willing to take it. Si estás dispuesto a cogerlo. If you're willing to invite him in. Si estás dispuesto a invitarlo que entre Where en is this vida. living water? ¿Dónde está esta agua viva? Give me some of that. Dame de eso. So I don't have to come to this well no more. Y así no tengo que venir más a este pozo. No, it takes work inviting. Eso toma trabajo y pelea. It takes work bringing him to this wedding. Está de trabajo traerlo a esta boda. So this petition comes before Messiah. Esta petición viene delante del Mesías. From his mother. De su madre. Yeshua. Yeshua. They've run out of the wine. Ya no tienen más vino. Even his mother petitioned him. Hasta su mamá le pide esa petición. She didn't tell him. Ella no le dijo. This is why you got to tell people who are praying to Mary. Miriam. Eso es, eso es algo que decirles a las personas que le rezan a you María. Will give them more wine. Tú le vas a dar más vino a ellos. No, she said, Bobby. Ella le dijo, Bobby. Mi, mi hijo. My son. They're out of wine. Ya no tienen más vino. You'll know what to do. Y él va a saber lo que tiene que hacer. Inviting him in. Invitando lo que le entre. You got to invite him to the wedding. Tienes que invitarlo a la boda. Maybe the people that that, that had the wedding. De pronto las personas que tenían esta boda. Maybe maybe Oscar they didn't know. De pronto Oscar no sabía. Man, I didn't know Uncle Mordecai could drink that much wine. Yo sé que el tío Mordecai tomaba tanto vino. Hey, hey. Hola. Is Oscar you're here in the wedding? Ahora Oscar está aquí en la boda. I had a little too much much to spend ya. <laughs> you can't you let it down? Yes. You know, imagine planning this wedding. Imagine planning this wedding. 
Oh no, they're out of wine. Ya tenemos más vino. It's going to look very bad on you. Eso se va a hacer malo para ti. That's why our walk with Yeshua. Por eso nuestro caminar con Yeshua. Is so important. Es muy importante. It's when things are not good. Es cuando las cosas no están muy bien. That's when you draw from this living water. Ahí donde sacas de esta agua viva. That's when you draw, Mila. Ahí es cuando sacas. When you're at your shop and Everything's going wrong. Cuando estás en tu tienda y todo se Steve, mal. that's you know that's when things that's when you dig down deep. Es cuando tú este buscas más profundamente. That's when you dig deeply. Es cuando buscas más profundamente. That's when the well of living water. Cuando es el pozo de agua viva. He's offering you the glass, Victor. Te está ofreciendo el vaso. He's offering us the glass. Te está ofreciendo el vaso. I'm at this wedding. Estoy en esta boda. Now they're running out of wine. Estoy quedando sin vino. Look at verse 5. En el versículo 5. His mother said to the servants, "Do whatever he tells you." Amen. Amen. His ima, his mom. Dice ima, su madre. Then say, "Yeshua, I want you to give them a good one." Yeshua, quiero que le des a ellos. She wasn't one of these overbearing Jewish mothers. No era de esas mamás judías canzonas. She went to the servants. Fue al sirviente. You'll know what to do. Tú vas a saber qué tienes que hacer. Are we the servants of the Lord? Somos nosotros los sirvientes del Señor. Do we draw from the living water? Sacamos del agua viva. So that the people that are drinking too much. De las personas que están tomando mucho. You know, there's a lot of craziness going on in the world. Hay mucha locura que está sucediendo en el mundo hoy día. There's a lot of people panicking about what's going on. Hay muchas personas que se están asustando y paniqueando por lo que está pasando. But we got the living water. Nosotros tenemos el agua. We've invited Yeshua to our wedding. Invitamos a Yeshua. He's a part of our lives. Es parte de nuestras vidas. We can say fill her up. Podemos elevar la copa y llenarla. Fill her up. Llenarla. Double. I'm driving. I need a double. I'm driving in New York City. I need a triple. <laughs> Do you say fill her up? Dices que la llena de nuevo, llena de nuevo tu vaso. Look at verse six, please. Ven el versículo seis, por favor. Now six stone water jars were standing there for Jewish ceremonial washing, each with the capacity of twenty or or thirty gallons. Amen. Amen. What are these? Uh, Ceremonial washing things. ¿Qué significa estas lavadas de ceremonia? And why were they there? ¿Y por qué estaban ahí? Victor, why were they there? ¿Por qué estaban ahí? Was it was it uh, you know really purified water? Era agua, no era muy agua, no era agua. Could you fix that microphone for Consuelo because it's dipping? Put the bottom, like the thing down. Okay. Thank you. What's what's about this water? ¿Qué sobre esta agua? What's so special about this water? ¿Qué es especial sobre esta agua? See, this is where people that don't read the Old Testament don't understand. Esto es lo que pasa con las personas no leen el Antiguo Testamento. In that water, en esa agua, there's a special ingredient. Hay un ingrediente especial. What is in the water, Betsy? ¿Qué está en esa agua? Betsy, what's in that water? ¿Qué está en esa agua? Melissa, a little, little lime. Un poquito tastes de limón better. You know, a little lime mejor. in your water tastes good, right? Limón en tu agua sabe mejor. Maybe a little lemon. Un poco de limón. Little spritz of juice, you know, pineapple juice. Un poquito de jugo de piña. What's in this water? Qué está en esta agua? There's a special ingredient called. Hay un ingrediente especial. It's the ashes of the red heifer are in the Jewish ceremonial water. Es las cenizas de de la vaca roja que se encuentra en esta agua de ceremonia. It makes a chemical reaction with the water. Hace una reacción química en el agua. That purifies the water for the ceremonial washing. Y la purifica para el rito de de purificación. It had to be a perfect cow offering, a perfect red. Cow. Tiene que ser una ofrenda de una vaca roja perfecta. And you know how we were talking about the perpetual offering in the beginning with the news? Cuando estábamos hablando las noticias de la ofrenda perpetua. You know they washed the rabbis washed. Los rabinos lavaron. Before they did it. Antes que lo hicieran. In 1998, there was a perfect red cow born in Jerusalem. En 1980 nació una vaca roja perfecta en Jerusalén. And they they burned it up. Y lo quemaron. They had the ashes of the red heifer in the water. Y tenían las cenizas de esta vaca roja en el agua. Jewish purification. Purificación judía. The Hebrew laws. Ley de la ley hebrea. So outside this wedding. Afuera de esta boda. Of all these secular people. De todas estas personas seculares. Puedo tener más vino. I'm going to stay. Why are you moving so much? Porque te estamos moviendo mucho. Wow. 
feels like the world just spinning more. Se ve como si el mundo estuviera dando muchas vueltas. Outside there. Allá afuera. Must have been close to the synagogue. Debe estar muy cerca la sinagoga. Were six stone water jars. Habían seis jarras de piedra. Why six? Por qué seis? Why six? Por qué seis? Six is the number of man. Seis es el número del hombre. And here the son of man was at the wedding at Cana. Aquí vemos que el hijo del hombre estaba en la boda de Cana. How were these these the water being stored? Cómo estaban guardando el agua. In these cisterns. En estas partes. How do you make the cisterns? Cómo haces los. I say cisterns. How do you make these hold these things that held the water? Cisternas, thank you. Yeah, I don't know the word for cistern. Okay. 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 How do you how do you make it? Cómo lo haces? You had to hollow it out with a stone. Tenías que sacarlo con una piedra. To then pour in the water. Para poder poner el agua. And then put the ashes of the living water in there. Y poner las cenizas de la vaca roja. And this would be the water of purification. Y este sería el agua de purificación. Look at verse seven. Ve en el versículo siete. Yeshua said, told them, fill the jars with water. They filled them to the brim. Amen. Amen. Fill the jars. Llena las jarras. Why jars for this living water? Por qué jarras para esta agua viva? What were the jars made of? Did they have glass? Did they have glass like this? Es que de qué estaban hechas estas jarras de vidrio? They didn't have glasses like this. No tenían vasos de esa manera. Six clay jars. Eran seis jarras de. Fill these jars. Llenar estas barras. Because he is the potter. Porque él es el el que hace. And you are the clay. Y tú eres el. He wants to give you this living water. El que darte esta agua viva. Claribel. Claribel. He wants to bring you to his wedding. El que llevarte a tu boda. If you invite God to the wedding. Si invitas a Dios a tu boda. He wants you to draw from the water of purification. Quieres que saque del agua la purificación. So that you could drink this living water. Así puedes tomar de esta agua viva. How many people want to drink of that today? How many people want to be at that wedding? How many people want to drink of the living water of God in His ways? We're going to get to a key here. About the bride later in the message. You want that living water. Tú quieres esa agua. You want that water to be drawn from the rock. Quieres que esa agua salga de la roca. Oh, the water was drawn from the rock, Isabel. El agua fue sacada de la roca. The water was drawn from the rock and brought to the wedding. El agua fue sacada de la roca, de la roca llevada a la boda. Look at verse eight and nine. En el versículo ocho y nueve. He said, "Now draw some out and take it to the man in charge of the banquet." And they took it, and the the man in charge tasted the water. It had turned into wine. He did not know where it had come from, but his the servants who had drawn the water knew. So he called the bridegroom. Amen. Amen. Sandy. They drew the water out. Sacaron el agua. From the water that was for purification. Del agua que era para la purificación. And brought it to the end of the wedding. Y llevado a la boda. To finish the party. Para terminar la fiesta. How many of us need to draw from that living water? Cuántos nosotros debemos sacar de esa agua viva. To finish this party that of life that we're in right now. Y terminar esta fiesta de la vida que tenemos. We all need to draw from that. Tenemos que sacar de ahí. And the servants. El sirviente. Jehovah's servants. El sirviente de Jehová. I'm bringing you the glass of living water today. From the Jewish ceremonial waters. De las ceremonias judías. To give you the truth. Para darte la verdad. So that you could finish the race. Para así puedes terminar la carrera. Where did the water come from? De dónde viene el agua? Where did the water come from? De dónde vino esta agua? Came from Hashemai. Vino del cielo. It came down. Vino. And then it was stored in the stone. Y fue guardado en las piedras. Do you have a heart of stone? Tienes un corazón de piedra. 
that God wants to make a heart of flesh. Because you, you drink that water, it goes into your body. But your body needs that water to keep on going. So it can get to your heart. The ashes pertain to God's laws. Las eh, cenizas pretendían a las leyes de Dios. Six jars. Seis jarras. Six the number of man. Seis el número del hombre. Clay pitchers that drew for the life. Jarras, jarras de barro que te llevaban vida. To bring life back to the party. Para llevar vida otra vez a la boda. And who was in charge? Y quién estaba encargado? Yeshua was in charge. Yeshua estaba encargado. He said, take this to the guy over there. Llévale al hombre que está ahí. And that man. Ese hombre. Carmen, that man. Ese hombre. He tasted the wine. Probó el vino. Wow. Wow. That's good stuff. Eso es rico. Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> That's good stuff. Eso es algo muy bueno. Victor. Victor. He wants you drawing today. Quieres que saque. Livio. Livio. Maybe not Dayan. Livio! <laughs> Dayan. Francisco. Stephen. You men. Todos los hombres. He wants you drawing from this living water today. Quieren que saques del agua viva el día de hoy. Ladies! Damas. It takes two to be in this marriage. Tienen que haber dos para estar en este matrimonio. He wants us all sipping from this living water. Look at verse 9 and 10. The man in charge tasted the water. It had now turned to wine. He did not know where it had come from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew. So he called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone else serves the good wine first and the poor wine after the people have drunk freely, but you have kept the good wine until now. Amen? Amen. Things in this world are going to be getting tougher. Las cosas en el mundo van a ponerse más difíciles. As the party goes on, things will get tougher. Mientras la fiesta siga andando, las cosas van a poner más difíciles. The harder it gets, everybody. Lo más difícil que se ponga. The more you have to taste the sweetness. Más tienes que probar la dulzura. Of the living water. Del agua viva. You have to draw from that water a purification. Tienes que sacar de esa agua de purificación. With the ashes of the red heifer in it. De las cenizas de la vaca roja. That would take away that sin. Que debe que, que quita esos pecados. That would purify the body. Que va a purificar el cuerpo. So that you could offer something to God. Así tú puedes ofrecerle algo a Dios. The maitre d tasted the wine. Cuando probó el agua. He didn't know what was in the cup. Él no sabía que lo que estaba en ese vaso. Anyone? Wow. Él dijo, wow. That's good. Eso es bueno. Where did you get this? ¿Dónde adquiriste esto? There's no wine place around here. No hay ningún sitio que venda, vendan vino por acá. But when you draw from God's living water, pero cuando sacas del agua viva de Dios, and His ancient paths, y sus caminos antiguos, that's when the bridegroom comes to your wedding. Ahí es cuando viene el novio a tu boda. Now those people could have been embarrassed. De pronto las personas iban a estar apenadas. Those who stayed to the end could have been embarrassed. Las personas que quedaron al final de pronto iban a estar apenadas. But marriage is sacred to God. Pero el matrimonio es algo sagrado para Dios. One man. One woman. Un hombre y una mujer. Until death do you part. Hasta que la muerte los separe. It is sacred to God. Es algo sagrado para Dios. Because marriage stands against evil. La matrimonio está para el frente y contra el enemigo. When two people can make a vow. Cuando dos personas pueden hacer un voto. And stay with that vow. Y mantenerse con ese voto. That says that there's a God in heaven. Dice que hay un Dios en el cielo. Because the world will want to tear it apart. Porque el mundo va a querer derrumbarlo. They will want to rip you apart. Quieren hacerte pedazos. You're saving yourself till marriage, isn't that stupid? Estás guardándote para el matrimonio, es algo estúpido. Marriage is for purity. El matrimonio es para la pureza. God wants us a pure, spotless bride. Dios quiere que nosotros seamos una novia pura y sin manchas. It shows 
Marriage shows how man and woman can stay together. El matrimonio muestra cómo el hombre y la mujer pueden mantenerse juntos. When you invite Yeshua to your wedding, cuando invitas a Yeshua a tu boda, you get blessed. Vas a ser bendecido. By inviting him into our lives, por invita invitándolo en nuestras vidas, we get vidas. blessed. Vamos a adquirir bendición. He turns regular water él hace el agua regular into sweet wine. en vino dulce. He'll turn your life Se va a convertir tu into vida something sweet. en algo muy dulce. But only Solamente if you don't make him jealous. Si no le haces que tenga celos. Why is, so, why is it so important to understand this marriage? Porque es importante entender este matrimonio. Now let's go get our Hebrew roots. Ahora vamos a que nuestras raíces hebreas. Section 1C. Sección 1C. Turn to the book of Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 5, please. Vamos al libro de Números capítulo 5. Numbers chapter 5, please. Números capítulo 5. We're going to read verse 11 through 30. Vamos a leer versículo 11 al 30. Numbers 5. Número 5. We should not make our beloved jealous. No debemos hacer a nuestro amado que tenga celos. If Yeshua is the bride and he is the bridegroom and we are the bride. Si Yeshua es el novio y nosotros somos la novia. You don't want to make the bridegroom jealous, right? No quieres causar que tenga celos el novio hacia ti. You think it's good to make him jealous? ¿Tú piensas que es correcto que él tenga hacerle causar celos? You think it's good to make him jealous? ¿Tú piensas que está bien causarle celos a él? It's not good to make the husband jealous. No es bueno que hacer el novio el esposo que tenga celos. It ain't good to make the husband jealous, ladies. No es bueno damas que el esposo te hace le. Now let's learn about this law of jealousy. Vamos a hablar sobre la ley de los celos. In the law of embitterment, Adonai said to Moshe, "Tell the people of Israel, if a man's wife goes astray and is unfaithful to him, that is, if another man goes to bed with her without her husband's knowledge, so that she becomes impure secretly, and there is no witness against her." There's a room in the corner that has a television. If, she, if she's, if she wants to like move around a little bit. Verse 13. That is, if another man goes to bed with her without her husband's knowledge, so that she becomes impure secretly, and there is no witness against her, and she was not caught in the act. Then if a spirit of jealousy comes over him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she has become impure, or, for that matter, if the spirit of jealousy comes over him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she has not become impure, he is to bring his wife to the Kohen, along with the offering for her, two quarts of barley flour on which he has not poured olive oil or put frankincense because it is a grain offering for jealousy. A grain offering for remembering, for recalling the guilt to mind. The Kohen will bring her forward and place her before Adonai. The Kohen will put holy water in a clay pot and then the Kohen will take some of the dust of the floor of the tabernacle and put it in the water. The Kohen will place the woman before Adonai, unbind the woman's hair and put the grain offering for remembering in her hands, the grain offering for jealousy. While the Kohen, was, Kohen has in his hand the water of embitterment and cursing, the Kohen will make her swear by saying her, if no man has gone to bed with you, if you have not gone astray to make yourself unclean while under your husband's authority, then be free from the water of embitterment and cursing. But if you have in fact gone astray while under your husband's authority and become unclean because some man other than your husband has gone to bed with you, then the Kohen is to make the woman swear with an oath that includes a curse. The Kohen will say to the woman, May Adonai make you an object of cursing and condemnation among your people by making your private parts shrivel and your abdomen swell up. May the, 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 this water that causes a curse Go into your inner parts and make your abdomen swell and your private parts shrivel up. And the woman is to respond, Amen, Amen. The Kohen is to write these curses on a scroll. Wash them off into the water of embitterment. And make the woman drink the water of embitterment and cursing. The water of cursing will enter her and become bitter. Then the Kohen is to remove the grain offering for jealousy from the woman's hand. Wave the grain offering before Adonai and bring it onto the altar. The Kohen is to take a handful of the grain offering. It is the reminder portion to make it go up in smoke on the altar. Afterwards, he is to make the woman drink the water. When he has made her drink the water, then if she is unclean and has been unfaithful to her husband, the water that causes the curse 
will enter her and become bitter so that her abdomen swells and her private parts shrivel up. And the woman will become an object of cursing and among, among her people. But if the woman is not unclean, but clean, then she will be innocent and will have children. This is the law of jealousy. When either a wife under her husband's authority goes astray and becomes unclean, or the spirit of jealousy comes over a husband and he becomes jealous of his wife, then he is to place the woman before Adonai and the Kohen is to deal with her in accordance with all of this law. Amen? Amen. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our king praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there, because Shabbat is so special to him there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom. Seen an Italian guy get jealous? Han visto un hombre italiano cómo se pone celoso. You 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 looking at my wife here? Estás mirando a mi esposa. I saw you looking at my wife. Vi que estabas mirando a mi esposa. You looking at my girlfriend? Estás mirando a mi novia. Well, you should be happy he's looking at your girlfriend in a secular sense. At least she ain't ugly. No es fea. Did you ever think of it that way? Nunca las habías pensado de esa manera. Hey, you're one lucky dude. Eres una persona con suerte. But are we looking around to other gods? Estamos mirando a otros dioses. Are we being unfaithful to our husband? Estamos siendo infiel a nuestro esposo. Look at verse 13. Vean el versículo 13. That is, if another man goes to bed with her without her husband's knowledge, so that she becomes impure secretly, 
and there is no witness against her, and she was not caught in the act. Amen. Amen. This takes planning. Esto toma pl planear. You know, for the woman to plan this rendezvous. Para esta mujer este, a, a planear ser infiel. She's got to wait for her husband to leave. Tiene que esperar que su esposo se vaya. She's got to check things out. Tiene que mirar que todo esté bien. When he's going to be back. Cuando él va a regresar. There's a lot of planning that goes on in all this. Hay mucho, cuando, hay mucho que planear cuando esto está sucediendo. This woman, it said in the scriptures, doing it secretly. Es aquí en las escrituras la mujer lo está haciendo secretamente. Because she wasn't caught in the act. Porque no fue cogida en el acto. She was planning to do something deceitful. Ella estaba planeando hacer algo con, en trampa. Are you planning to do something deceitful? Estás planeando hacer algo en tramposo. Are you getting ready for God's holy days? Estás preparando para los días santos de Dios. Is the church Dios? getting ready for God's holy days? O la iglesia se está preparando para los días santos de Dios. Or, or are they waiting for Christmas? O están esperando para la Navidad. That I can't find in the Bible. Que no puedo encontrar en la Biblia. Are we planning to be unfaithful? Estamos planeando ser infiel. Are we waiting for that moon? Estamos esperando esa luna. Are we waiting to see it so that yes, these holy days are here? Sí, es ya están las fiestas santas aquí. To be with our beloved. Para estar con nuestro novio amado. Are we planning to be unfaithful to him? Estamos planeando ser infiel hacia él. When you're planning to be unfaithful. Cuando estás planeando ser infiel. This is open rebellion. Eso es re, uh, ser reverde abiertamente. Open rebellion to the king. Ser abiertamente re, re, reverde al rey. This woman secretly planned to get away from her husband. Esa mujer secretamente estaba preparando para alejarse de su esposo. Not just to go talk and have a coffee clutch with the girls. No solamente hablar y hablar con sus amigas y tomar café y pan. She planned to go have sexual relations with a man other than her husband. Estaba planeando tener relaciones sexuales con otro hombre hombre que no era su esposo. God said in Leviticus 23. Dios dice en Levíticos 23. These are my holy days. Estos son mis días santos. They are to be kept forever. Tienen que ser mantenidos para siempre. Yeshua at the last supper, the last Passover meal. Yeshua en la última cena en la última Pascua. Said do this in remembrance of me. Haz esto en recordatorio mío. How much of the body doesn't celebrate Pesach, Passover? Mucho del cuerpo no celebra la Pascua. Are we being willingly disobedient? Estamos siendo abiertamente este desobedientes. Is our Jehovah getting fed up with it at this point? Se está cansando Jehová de nosotros ya. Look at verse 14. Ven el versículo 14. Then if the spirit of jealousy comes over him and he is jealous of his wife and she has become impure or for that matter if the spirit of jealousy comes over him and he is jealous of his wife and she has not become impure. Amen? Amen. He has a suspicion Él tiene una, una, es, 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 thank you. that she's uh, doing something. Que ella está haciendo algo. He stays outside the house. Él se queda fuera de la casa. And he listens. Y él escucha. And she's singing and she's happy. Y está cantando y está contenta. And he comes in. Y él entra. Oh. Y se cae, queda ahí. Your food's on the table. La comida está en la, tu comida está en la mesa. But then he, he comes again. Y él regresa de nuevo. And he hears her talking to somebody. Y le, él la escucha que está hablando con alguien. And she's whispering. Y ella está este, hablando en voz baja. He tries to listen in better. Y trata de escuchar mejor. He suspects something. Él es sospechoso de algo. He suspects the impurity. Él sospecha la impureza. Are we doing that to our Jehovah? Estamos haciendo eso a Jehová. In your life, look at your lives, please. En la vida, miren sus propias vidas, por favor. Are you being impure to your king? Estás siendo impura a tu propio rey. He wants to offer the water to you. Él quiere ofrecerte el agua. He wants to give you the water of purity. Él quiere ofrecerte el agua de la pureza. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Can I have some? ¿Puedo adquirir? So I can live under grace. Así puedo baja, vivir bajo gracia. This bridegroom knows. Este novio sabe. The earthly one. El de la tierra. Is suspecting something. Que está sospechando algo. But look at what God plays out here. I want Pero, you to know the detail. Porque quiero que vean cómo Dios hace las cosas. Miren los detalles. It's very important. Es muy importante. Look at verse 15 now. Ven el versículo 15, por favor. He is to bring his wife to the Cohen along with the offering for her. Two quarts of barley flour on which he has not poured olive oil or put frankincense. 
because it is a grain offering for jealousy, a grain offering for remembering, for recalling guilt to mind. Amen? Amen. It's bringing an offering. Está trayendo una ofrenda. Because he's seeking the Lord. Porque le está buscando al Señor. See, he has to bring this grain offering. Tiene que llevar esta ofrenda de grano. When is the grain offering offered up? Cuando esa ofrenda del grano se ofrece. When does the Lord offer the bread offering? Cuando el Señor ofre ofrece la, la ofrenda del pan. When this offering for this, this jealousy. Cuando esta ofrenda de los celos. When is that done? Cuando se hace esto. Nine in the morning. Las nueve de la mañana. Three in the afternoon. Y tres por la tres de la tarde. The bread offering offering was in the morning. La ofrenda del pan era por la mañana. No leavening in that bread to be offered. No tenía que tener levadura esa ofrenda. At nine in the morning. A nueve a las nueve de la mañana. And three in the afternoon. Y a las tres de la tarde. How many hours apart? Cuántas horas de de separo? Six hours apart. Seis horas de separo. What is six? Que es seis. Six is the number of man. Seis es el número del hombre. When did Yeshua go to the cross? Cuando fue Yeshua a la cruz. Nine in the morning. A las nueve de la mañana. When did he get off the cross? Cuando se bajó de la cruz. Three in the afternoon. A las tres de la tarde. The morning offering. La ofrenda de la mañana. The afternoon offering. La ofrenda de la tarde. He said, "I'm the bread of life." Dijo, "Yo soy el pan de la vida." But now. Pero ahora, the husband who's jealous el esposo que tiene celos, is bringing a grain offering está llevando una ofrenda de grano for the suspicion of his wife. Por ser sospechoso de su esposa. Is God bringing the grain offering for you? Dios está trayendo la ofrenda de grano para ti. Are we being an adulterous wife to him? Hacemos estamos siendo una esposa adúltera hacia él. Look at verse 18. En el versículo 18. The Cohen will place the woman before Adonai, unbind the woman's hair, and put the grain offering for remembering in her hands. The grain offering for jealousy, while the Cohen has in his hand the water of embitterment and cursing. Amen. Amen. The Cohen has something in his hand. El sacerdote tiene algo en sus manos. He has the water of embitterment. Tiene el agua de la amargura. That he's going to have in his hand during this offering. Que va a tener en la mano cuando se haga esta ofrenda. Is God our Cohen? Es nuestro Dios nuestro sacerdote. Yeshua the Messiah. Yeshua el Mesías. Is a priest on the order of Melchizedek. Él es un sacerdote de la orden de Melchizedek. He's a priest and a king. Él es un sacerdote y un rey. Is he holding the water of embitterment over our lives? Está teniendo el agua de la amargura en nuestras vidas. He's not making her drink yet. No la está haciendo que tome esta agua todavía. But he's got it in his hand. Pero lo tiene en sus manos. And he's going to tell her to be honest in a moment. Y él le va a decir que sea honesta. That you're going to have to agree to something. Y tienes que estar de acuerdo con algo. When we accept Yeshua in our hearts. Cuando nosotros aceptamos a Yeshua en nuestro corazón. We agree to a marriage. Estamos de acuerdo con un matrimonio. When you accept Yeshua as your personal savior. Cuando tú aceptas a Yeshua como tu salvador personal. You are agreeing to a marriage. Estás de acuerdo a un matrimonio. What's going to break the marriage? ¿Qué va a quebrantar este matrimonio? Adultery. El adulterio. What's going to keep you from being blessed? ¿Qué es lo que va a mantener que no seas bendecido, bendecido el adulterio? Letting somebody else into your marriage. Permitiendo que alguien entre en tu matrimonio. That's what's going to destroy your marriage. Eso es lo que va a destruir tu matrimonio. I am my beloved and she is mine. Yo soy de mi amado y ella es mía. That's how it stays going. Así se mantiene. That's how I stay doing the job for God. Así yo me mantengo haciendo el trabajo para Dios. He is my beloved. Él es mi amado. He paid six hours on a cross for me. Él pagó seis horas en una cruz para mí. He took the embitterment for me. Él quitó la amargura de mí. I'm not going to let anything come between me and him. No voy a permitir que nada entre en la mitad de él y yo. Nothing. Nada. Not rabbi's teachings. No enseñanzas de rabinos. Not Joel Osteen rebuking Paul no. and John and Peter, that clown. No, Joe Austin, re reprendiendo a Pablo, Pedro y Juan. Hey, Joel, if you're listening, if you want to be taught something, call me. Joe, si me escuchas, si quieres ser enseñado algo, llámame. Because you are a serious donkey. Porque de verdaderamente eres un burro. Nothing comes between me and the Word of God. Nada se mete entre yo y la palabra de Dios. I am not going to be an adultery like my people have been over and over. No voy a ser un adulterio como mi pueblo lo ha hecho una y otra vez. What other book? 
que otro libro. Hey, look at those idiot Jews. Mira esos judíos idiotas. Look at the book of Judges. Look at how many times they messed up. Mira los libros de jueces como ellos se equivocaron varias veces. And you want to think you're going to get away with it? Y tú piensas que te vas a liberar de eso? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, people. Él es el mismo ayer, hoy, para siempre. And he's holding something in his hand right now. Y él tiene algo en sus manos en este momento. He's holding something in his hand right now. Él tiene algo en sus manos en este momento. I'll show you in the news in a minute what he's holding. Lo voy a mostrar en las noticias lo que él dice. You don't want to believe it? That's cool. No me quieres creer, está bien. As for me in my house. Yo en mi casa. I'm not going to make my king jealous. No voy a hacer que mi mi rey tenga celos. Now let's look at verse 20 through 22. Vamos al versículo 20 al 22. But if you have in fact gone astray while well, under your husband's authority and become unclean because some man other than your husband has gone to bed with you, then the Kohen is to make the woman swear an oath that includes a curse. The Kohen will say to the woman, May Adonai make you an object of cursing and condemnation among your people by making your private parts shrivel and your abdomen swell up. May this water that causes the curse go into your inner parts and make your abdomen swell and your private parts shrivel up. And the woman is to respond, Amen and Amen. Okay. Let's take this in two levels. Vamos a llevarlo en dos niveles. You're going to say this curse before you drink the water. Vas a decir esta maldición antes de tomar el agua. And it's going to go inside you. Va a entrar a, en tu cuerpo. And it's going to, for the ladies, make your inners swell up. Hey, para las damas, las partes interior, de adentro se van a hinchar. You ever have a yeast infection before, ladies? Cuando has tenido una infección de hongo abajo. Damas. Or a urinary tract infection? O una infección del tracto urinario. Men having parts that don't work, having to use medications o to work. O partes que el hombre tiene que no le funciona y tiene que usar medicamentos. We have more abdomen problems than ever before. Tenemos más problemas abdominales que nunca. In the world, more colon cancer. Y más cáncer en el colon en el mundo. Inside swelling up. Hinchazón en el, en el cuerpo adentro. You ever see anybody who's been on some dialysis and things like that? Has visto las personas que han estado en diálisis. Swell up. Que se hinchan. People on di with diabetes start to swell up if they don't take care of their bodies. Las personas diabéticas el cuerpo se le hincha cuando no toman sus medicamentos. So you take it on both levels here. Aquí lo llevas en dos niveles. This curse. Esta maldición. That if you drink this water. Que si tomas esta agua. And you agree to it. Y estás de acuerdo con eso. And este, you've been unfaithful. Y has sido infiel. Your husband will now know. Ahora tu esposo va a saber. Is the Lord doing that for us in the world today? El Señor está haciendo eso hacia nosotros en el mundo el día de hoy. Now what happens also if your abdomen swells up, lady, and your your private parts swell up. Damas, ¿qué pasa cuando tu abdomen se hincha o tus partes íntimas se hinchan? No children. No vas a poder tener hijos. No more children or any children at all. No vas a poder tener hijos. Look at verse 23. En el versículo 23. The Cohen is to write these curses on a scroll, wash them off into the water of embitterment. Amen. Amen. How is he going to write them on a scroll? ¿Cómo los va a escribir en un libro? What type of ink? Did he use? ¿Qué tipo de tinta usaba en esa época? If this is happening while we're wandering the desert, this this curse. Si esto está sucediendo cuando estamos caminando en el desierto, esta maldición. We're reading in the book of Numbers. Lo vemos en el libro de Números. We're wandering around the desert at this point. Estamos caminando en el desierto en estos momentos. How would he write? ¿Cómo escribiría? These curses. Estas maldiciones. Well, we would get a quill from an animal. Para adquirir una pluma de un animal. Where would he get the ink? De donde adquiriría la tinta. What type of wood did they use for the Ark of the Covenant? Qué tipo de madera usaron para la, el Arca del Pacto? Acacia wood. Uh, madera de acacia. You can get ink from the acacia wood. Puedes adquirir tinta de la madera de acacia. If you burn it down and you take the ashes. Si la quemas y coges las cenizas. And boil it. Y lo cocinas. It'll make an ink. Va a ser tinta. The ink will never disappear. Y la tinta nunca se va a desaparecer. The ink of the Dead Sea Scrolls that las, is still 3,000 years old. La tinta de los las rollos del Mar Muerto. Or at least 2,000. Que tiene aproximadamente 2,000 años. These scrolls written on parchment paper. Estos papeles de estos rollos de papeles. Were acacia wood ink. Con tinta de acacia. 
Now let's take this a little further. Vamos a llevar esto un poco más profundamente. God has written his word. Dios escribió su palabra. In a book. En un libro. That's never going to disappear. Que nunca se va a desaparecer. And he's saying to us the bride. Nos están diciendo a nosotros la novia. I'm going to write your sin on this scroll. Voy a escribir tu pecado en este rollo de papel. And I'm going to put it in to the water of embitterment. Lo voy a meter en el agua de la amargura. God's word never fades. La palabra de Dios nunca se never changes. Y nunca cambia. Look at verse 23-24 again. En el versículo 23 y 24 de nuevo. The Cohen is to write these curses on a scroll, wash them off into the water of embitterment, make the woman drink the water of embitterment and cursing. The water of cursing will enter her and become bitter. Amen? Amen. If you're being unfaithful, si está siendo infiel, the husband didn't have proof el esposo no tenía prueba. But God knows all things. Pero Dios sabe todo. You cannot hide from God, Jonah. No, no te puedes esconder de Dios, Jonás. You want to go in that boat? God's going to find you. Tú quieres ir en ese no quieres el barco, Dios te va a encontrar. He's going to put you in the fish. God's going to find you. Te quiere poner en el pescado, él te va a encontrar. Don't think you could hide from God. No pienses que te puedes esconder de Dios. He will find you. Él te va a encontrar. He will find you. Él te va a encontrar. And then he's going to make you drink. The water. Y va a hacer que tomes de esta agua. Only Jehovah can save us now. Ahora Jehová solamente nos puede salvar a nosotros. But if you're clean. Pero si eres limpio. I'm covered in the blood of the Lamb. Soy cubierto bajo la sangre del cordero. No, you're not. No, no lo estás. The only time you're covered in the blood of the Lamb is if you do Passover. La única vez que estás cubierto bajo la sangre del cordero. And you put the blood on the door. Y cuando pones la sangre en la puerta. Then you're covered in the blood of the Lamb. Es si estás cubierto en la sangre del cordero. Covered. I just feel the power. Estoy cubierto siento el poder. Jump back on, kiss myself. Oh yes, I'm covered in the blood. Estoy cubierto bajo la sangre. But if you're clean, pero si estás limpio, then you won't shrivel up. No te vas a encoger. But if you are dirty, pero si estás sucio, God says, Dios dice, get away from me, you worker of lawlessness. Aléjate de mí el que no sigue las leyes. Verse 27, 28. Versículo 27 y 28. When he was made, when he has made her drink the water, then if she is unclean and been unfaithful to her husband, the water that causes the curse will enter her and become bitter, so that her abdomen swells and her private parts shrivel up, and the woman will become an object of cursing among her people. But the, if the woman is not unclean, but clean, she, then she will be innocent and will have children. Amen? Amen. So if you're clean, si estás limpio, And following God's laws, y estás siguiendo las leyes de Dios, then your husband will not be jealous of you. Entonces, tu esposo no va a tener más celos hacia ti. He will say, honey, va a decir, honey, my beautiful wife, mi bella esposa, she has been faithful to me. Ha sido fiel. How many people want to get to heaven? ¿Cuántos ustedes quieren llegar al And cielo? And how will you know? ¿Cómo vas a saber? He will say to you, Cheryl, va a decirte, Cheryl, well done, my hecho, good and faithful servant. Yes, I'm in. Sirviete bien. Y fiel. You'll know right then and there. Vas a saber ahí mismo, when you open your eyes from your sleep. Cuando abras tus ojos de estar durmiendo. And you get there, Carmen. Y llegues allá, Carmen. And he says, I got to check the book. Tengo que mirar primero el libro. That's not a good sign. Eso no es una buena señal. You want your husband to know that you've been faithful to him. Tú quieres que tu esposo sepa que tú has sido fiel hacia él. Verse 29. Versículo 29. This is a law for jealousy. When either a wife under her husband's authority goes astray and becomes unclean. Amen? Amen. We need to understand that. Tienes que entender esto. Because we're going to get deeper now. Ahora vamos a entrar profundamente. We're going to go into section 1D now. Vamos a entrar a la sección 1D. God is a husband to us. El Dios es un esposo para nosotros. Turn to Jeremiah 31, please. Vamos a Jeremías 31. Jeremiah, hear me, Yahoo. Jeremías 31. 31, verse 26 through 33. Jeremías 31, versículo 26 al 33. Anybody learn anything so far today? This place crazy, Cheryl? <laughs> Amen. Okay. And what was our other sister's name? The other Peruvian lady. Pa Pamela. Yeah, Pamela. Pamela. You learn anything today? Are you happy you're here? No, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we've had people walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah 31. Hey, this, ain't, this place ain't for everybody. <laughs> I am hard on God's word. Because you got clowns like 
Joel Osteen, who has 30,000 people. Tienes payasos snowed. como Joel Osteen que tiene 30, 33, That personas. That story, I just wanted to like fly down to Texas and beat him. <laughs> hey, Joel! I'll tell you about rebuking my Jewish brothers. Te voy a decir cómo es hablando, reprendiendo a mis hermanos judíos. Jeremiah 31. Jeremías 31. Verse 26 through 33, please. Versículo 26 al 33, por favor. Here the days are coming, says Adonai, when I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Yehuda with the seed of humans and seed of animals at that time, just as I used to watch over them with the intent to uproot, break down, overthrow, destroy, and do harm. So then I will watch over them to build and plant, says Adonai. When those days come, they will no longer say the father have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Rather, each will die for his own sin. Everyone who eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. Here the days are coming, says Yehovah, when I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Yisrael, with the house of Yehuda. I will, it will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers on the day I took them by the hand and brought them out of the land of Egypt because they for their part violated my covenant even though I for my part was a husband to them says Jehovah for this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after the, those days says Jehovah I will put my Torah within them and write it on their hearts and I will be their God and they will be my people no longer will any of them teach his fellow community member or his brother no Jehovah for all will know me from the least to them to the greatest because I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. Amen? Amen. Let's look at uh, verse 31. Veamos el versículo 31. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers on the day I took them by the, their hand and brought them out of the land of Egypt because they, for their part, violated my covenant even though I, for my part, was a husband to them, says Adonai. Amen. Amen. He says he's our husband. Él dice que él es nuestro esposo. I betrothed you to me. Yo te, yo te cojo como Ariadna. I took you by the hand out of witchcraft. Ariadna te saqué de la brujería. Te saqué de la You were mano. dedicated to being a witch, girl. Fue dedicada a ser una bruja. Now what do you do with it? Ahora qué haces con eso? I took you by the hand. I took you out of that. Te tomé de la mano. Te saqué de eso. How many of us have all testimonies? Look at your lives, man. Look at your lives. I took you out. I was your husband. He is our husband. He wants to, to be with us. Oh, honey, I'm going out with the girls. Oh, honey, I'm going out with the fellas. Wink, wink, wink nod, nod. <laughs> We're going to the club. I lost it. Vamos al, al club con Lucy. Going to the club. Y al club. A going bailar. to the club. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going out with the boys. Voy a salir con los chicos. Oh, the band's playing. La, el, el grupo está tocando. Eduardo's playing tonight. Eduardo está tocando esta noche. God took us by the hand. Dios nos cogió de la mano. He brought us out. Nos sacó. He's our husband. Él es nuestro esposo. And he himself él, él mismo, calls himself jealous. Y él mismo se llama celoso. He's not playing a game. Él no está jugando. God says about himself, I am jealous. Dios dice del mismo, Yo soy celoso. I brought you out of witchcraft. What are you going to do with it? All those things you did. Todas esas cosas all que hiciste, those spells you cast. Todas esas, eh, hechizos que hiciste. I'll forget about them. Voy a olvidar de ellos. I'll forget about them. Voy a olvidar de ellos. Don't do it anymore. No lo hagas nunca más. I'm taking you by the hand. Te estoy tomando de la mano. For the husband then suspects. Entonces el esposo sospecha. Yeah, she's not just going out to the girls to go shopping. No va a salir con las chicas para ir de compras. She's going to the club. Va a ir al club. And he says he's going to the club. Y él dice también que va al club. Whoops, they meet each other at the club. Oops, se encuentran en el and club. she's with somebody else and he's with somebody Ella else. Está con otra persona y él con otra persona. Oh, that's not a good scene. Eso no es una buena escena. Now look what he says in verse 28 and 29. Vean lo que dice en el versículo 28 y 29. 
When those days come, they will no longer say the fathers have eat, eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Rather, each will die for his own sin. Everyone who eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. Amen? Amen. Oh, you thought salvation was a new thing in the New Testament? ¿Tú piensas que la salvación era algo nuevo en el Nuevo Testamento? No, it's right there in the Old Testament. No, está aquí en el Antiguo Testamento también. You're responsible for your own actions. Tú eres responsable de tus propias acciones. He took you out. Él te sacó. He brought you to himself, Clarabel. Él te compró para él mismo. And what do you do with it? Marta, what do you do with it? ¿Qué vas a hacer, Marta? ¿Qué vas a hacer con eso? Consuelo, what do you do with it? Consuelo, ¿qué vas a hacer con eso? Hurricane Sandy? Huracán Sandy. See, you've been wrestling with God, have you? He visto que has peleado con Dios. Got the, the hobbling leg thing going on there. I told you not to wrestle with God. Te dije que no pelearas con Dios. Every, look at that verse, look at 29. Vean este versículo, el versículo 29. Rather, each will die for his own sin. Everyone who eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. Amen? Amen. Anybody ever, ever have a toothache? ¿Cuánto usted han tenido un dolor en el diente? Or you needed like root canal? Necesitaban un, un root canal. You know, just thinking about going to the dentist scares you. Solamente pensar que tienes que ir al dentista It's that asusta. sound. <laughs> Sorry, sorry there, Rene, uh, Reina. <laughs> I hate going to the dentist. Odio ir al dentista. I used to bring headphones, really big headphones. Yo te llevaba audífonos grandes. Play music really loud. Tocaba la, ponía la música en alto. And, uh, and you smell something burning. Y si hueles, hueles que algo se está quemando. And you can't, your, your, your lip is on them. Tu labio está todo dormido. Take a drink. Toma. What? Take a drink. Pues tomar. You try to take a drink? Tratas de tomar. Blah, 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 blah. Y la voz es de un lado. Because your face is all numb. Porque tu cara está toda dormida. But it's saying here, why does he use teeth? Porque dice aquí, porque habla de los dientes. Everyone's teeth will be set on edge. Todos los dientes serán este, dentadura. It's like a pain Dentara. that doesn't go away. Pero el dolor nunca se va a ir. It's like a pain that doesn't go away. Es un dolor que nunca se va a ir. Each will die for their own sins. Cada quien va a morir por sus propios pecados. Look at verse 32. Ven el versículo 32. For this is a covenant I will make with the house of Israel, Beit Israel, and after those days, says Jehovah, I will put my Torah within them and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Amen. Amen. That living water has got to go inside of you. Esa agua viva tiene que entrar dentro de ti. And well ti. up. Y crecer. Where is this living water? ¿Dónde está esta agua viva? So I don't have to come to the well anymore. Así no tengo que ir más, venir al pozo. Yeshua is offering us this living water. Yeshua nos está ofreciendo esta agua viva. The wedding at Cana. La boda de Canaán. That rock. Esa roca. That had the water in it. Que tenía el agua. Turned into the sweetness of the wine at the wedding at Cana. Se convirtió en una dulzura de vino en la boda de Canaán. We have hearts of stone people. Tenemos corazones de piedra. And God's going to be jealous about it. Y Dios va a tener celos sobre eso. But he wants to give us a new wine. Pero quiere darnos el nuevo vino. He wants to give us a new heart. Quiere dar quiere darnos un nuevo corazón. You've had five husbands. Has tenido cinco esposos. And the one you're living with is not your husband now. Y con quien el que estás viviendo no es tu esposo. You're just fornicating, Margarita. Estás fornicando. Five. Cinco. Five. Cinco. Five. Cinco. Not a five dollar foot long. No, un sándwich de cinco dólares. I'm not saying Margarita is being a fornicator. I'm just no using her name. No Margarita es una fornicadora. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But he's saying to the woman at the well. Le está diciendo a la mujer en el pozo. You've had five husbands. Has tenido cinco five. esposos. Cinco. Five. Cinco. Five. Cinco. And the one you're living with. Y con quién estás viviendo ahora? He ain't your husband either. No es tu esposo tampoco. I'm gonna put my Torah inside of your hard heart. Voy a poner mi Torah en tu corazón. I want to change your heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Quiero cambiar tu corazón de piedra a un corazón de carne. Look at verse 32 again. Ven el versículo 32 de nuevo. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Adonai. I will put my Torah within them and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Amen? Amen. 
He wants to be our husband. Él quiere ser nuestro, nuestro esposo. He's given us an engagement ring called the Bible. Él nos ha dado un anillo de compromiso que se llama la Biblia. A contract. Un contrato. This is my ketuba. Ese es mi ketuba. That's 26 years old. Que tiene 26 años ya. This is the contract that I gave to my wife. Este es el contrato que le di a mi esposa. Yeshua gave us his contract. Y Yeshua nos dio nuestro, su, su contrato. It's called the Bible. Y se llama la Biblia. It's called the Bible. Y se llama la Biblia. He wants to be our husband. Él quiere ser nuestro esposo. He wants to be our God. Él quiere ser nuestro Dios. Turn back to Numbers 5. Va, regresemos a Números capítulo 5. Verse 23 and 24 again. Versículo 23 y 24 de nuevo. Numbers 5, verse 23, 24. Número 5, versículo 23 y 24. Numbers 5, Bamidbar 5, verse 23, 24. Número 5, versículo 23 y 24. The Cohen is to write these curses on a scroll, wash them off into the water of embitterment, and make the woman drink the water of embitterment and cursing. The water of cursing will enter her and become bitter. Amen? Amen. Is God writing your curses on a scroll? Estás escribiendo Dios tus maldiciones en un rollo de papel. What should be the charges against us? ¿Cuáles serían los cargos contra nosotros? You know, we read that story about the German kids being taken by the Nazis yesterday. Leímos la historia de los niños alemanes que fueron sacados de su casa por los nazis. That should be a good charge. Eso debe ser una buena carga. Yes. My children were taken away. Mis hijos fueron quitados de mí. Because I was teaching them the Bible. Porque le estaba enseñando a ellos la Biblia. Those people will meet their fate that took them away. Esas personas que quitaron a sus hijos van a encontrar. When I am in heaven and I look down on you in hell, I will say, "See." Cuando esté en el cielo y esté mirando hacia el infierno, dije, "There is a God." Hay un Dios. And I will say to you, "See, you're in hell." Ves, vas a voy a ver en el infierno. Because we'll be able to see them. Pero podemos verlos desde arriba. We'll be in Abraham's bosom. Vamos a estar en en el pecho de Abraham. The poor man, remember? El pobre hombre, recuerda. He didn't have things all his life. No tuvo las cosas todas sus cosas. But then he was in Abraham's bosom. Pero estaba en el pecho de Abraham. And the rich man was in Sheol. Y el hombre rico estaba en el infierno. So those people that took those four Christian children esas yesterday. Esas personas que se llevaron esos cuatro niños cristianos. Those demonic demons from the pit of hell. Esos demonios de la profundidad del infierno. Everybody in the town that called them believers should have attacked the police. Todas esas personas que son creyentes deben atacar a la policía. These children did nothing wrong. They're learning the Bible. Estos niños hicieron nada malo. Están aprendiendo la Biblia. And you should, you should too. Y tú ustedes también. You should fear God. Deben temer a Dios también. Because he's doing things around the globe. Porque está haciendo cosas alrededor del mundo. Is God writing on a scroll? Dios está escribiendo en un rollo de papel. Because the church did the same thing in World War II in Germany. La iglesia también hizo lo mismo en la Segunda Guerra Mundial. As they were loading my family. Cuando estaban llevándose a mi familia. In then what was called Russia. In the moment that they called Russia. The Germans had taken over the area. In the past time, they called Russia when the Germans. As they were loading my family onto those cars. When they were taking my family on those cars. Taking them to the concentration camps. Taking them to the concentration camps. The church stayed silent. The church stayed silent. Well, this one who's preaching the gospel won't. Pero este que está hablando de la palabra de Dios no lo va a hacer. I'll do a pinkest moment on you. Yo haré una forma como pinkest hizo. Where is the church in in Germany today? Donde está la iglesia en Alemania el día de hoy? There should be an outcry. Debe haber un un llamado. There should be millions of people in front of that police department. Debe haber millones de personas delante de esa estación de policía. Let those children go. Deja a esos niños libres. Let those children go. Deja a esos niños libres. Or we're going to have a good old-fashioned burning of you. O vamos a quemarte en la forma antigua. Is God writing this on a scroll for us? Está escribiendo Dios esto en un rollo de papel para nosotros. What you did for the least of these, you did for me. Lo que hiciste a los a los menos de de las otras personas vas a hacer a mí. I'll protect those children with my life. Voy a proteger esos niños con mi vida. Because I know where I'm going to be when I die. Yo sé dónde voy a estar cuando yo muera. And I know where those police officers are going to be when they die. Yo voy a yo sé dónde van a estar esos policías cuando muera. If you got an order that that goes against God's word, you do not follow it. Si va una orden que va contra la palabra de Dios, no lo sigas. 
God's writing this on a scroll for the woman Dios of embitterment. Es, Dios está escribiendo esto en el papel de rollo sobre la amargura. Is your husband writing it on a scroll for you? Su esposo lo está escribiendo en un papel de rollo para ti. Are you afraid to stand up for God's word? O estás tienes miedo a pararte firme en la palabra de Dios. I'm sure I could be arrested for what I said. Yo estoy, estoy seguro que puedo ser arrestado por lo que yo dije. So I'll be like my cousin Peter. Voy a ser como mi primo Pedro. Spend some time in jail for the gospel. Voy a estar metido en la cárcel por el evangelio. I'll be like my cousin Paul. Voy a ser como mi primo Pablo. Spend a little time in jail for the gospel. También duró mucho tiempo en la cárcel por el evangelio. Even lost his head over it. Y perdió su cabeza también. I do not fear death. Yo no temo la muerte. I fear my God. Yo temo a mi Dios. Section 2. Section 2. Genesis 49, please. Genesis 49, por favor. Genesis 49, verse 1 through 4. Genesis 49, del 1 al 4, por favor. Bereshit 49. Learn anything today? ¿Están aprendiendo algo el día de hoy? Genesis 49, del 1 al 4. Haven't changed, right? Haven't changed? <laughs> Genesis 49, 1 through 4. Genesis 49, Bereshit 49, 49. Genesis 49, del 1 al 4. Sí. Verse 1 through 4. Del 1 al 4. I understood what she said, Victor. See? Uh -huh. I'm getting there. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to talk slow. I'll see if I can understand Pidad this time. Okay. <laughs> Genesis, everybody got it? Lo tienen ya. Then Yaakov called for his sons and said, Gather yourselves together and I will tell you what will happen. To you in the Yacharit Hayamim, the end of days. Assemble yourselves, listen, sons of Yanko, pay attention, Yisrael, your father. Reuven, you are my firstborn, my strength, the first fruits of my manhood. Though superior in vigor and power, you are as unstable as water. So your superiority will end because you climbed into your father's bed and defiled it, and he climbed into my concubine's couch. Amen. Amen. Look at verse 4. Ven el versículo 4, por favor. Though superior in vigor and power, you are as unstable as water. So your superiority will end because you climbed into your father's bed and defiled it. He climbed onto my concubine's couch. Amen. Amen. Why does Jacob use water for his son? Porque Jacob usa la palabra agua para su hijo. Water is constantly changing. El agua constantemente está cambiando. His eldest son was not steadfast. Era una persona estable. Water, if you just have it in a cup, si, el agua, si tú la tienes en un vaso, even though it's in this cup, está en este vaso, it's evaporating. Se evapora. It's constantly changing. Constantemente está cambiando. If I make it cold, it'll change to ice. Si lo pongo que se ponga frío, se convierte en hielo. If I let it get a little, if I make it 33 degrees, si lo hago 33 grados, it'll start to melt and turn back into water. Empieza a derretirse, se convierte en agua de nuevo. If I put it under a flame, si lo pongo bajo una llama, a flame under it, una llama debajo, it'll start to evaporate. Empieza a evaporarse. Are we always changing with God? Estamos siempre cambiando con Dios. Jehovah never changes. Jehová nunca cambia. He never does. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Él es el mismo ayer, hoy, para siempre. But we, Pero nosotros, we're always changing. Siempre estamos cambiando. But God wants us to be steady. Dios quiere que seamos estables. He wants you on a steady path. Quiere que estés en un camino estable. Even if you make one step forward today, haces un, solamente, no importa si hagas un solo paso el día de hoy. Stay on the path. Mantente en ese camino. One little step, Clarabel. Un pequeño, un pequeño paso. Adriana, one little step. Un pequeño paso. Levio, he wants you stepping closer with him today. Él quiere que camines más con Dios. Deon, one step forward today. Un paso hacia adelante. Mila, one step forward. Un paso hacia adelante. He doesn't want you going to the left or right. Él no quiere que vayas a la derecha ni a la izquierda. He doesn't want you being like water, Carmen. No quiere que sea como el agua. It's always changing. Well, Carmen is always changing. She's hot. She's hot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> que siempre That's not está Carmen. Cambiando. Que siempre está cambiando. That's Sandy. Caliente. <laughs> hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Caliente, no, that's caliente. my wife. She's going through the changes. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. Caliente. Fan on, fan off, fan off, fan off. Okay? God doesn't want you doing that. Dios no quiere que hagas eso. He wants you steady. Él quiere que seas estable. He doesn't want you being like Reuben. Él no quiere que seas como Reuben. He wants you steady. Él quiere que seas estable. He said that Reuben was superior. Él dijo que Rubén era superior. He had power. Que tenía poder. 
But we have to be steady. Tenemos que ser estables. You can have power. Puedes tener poder. You could think you're superior. Puedes pensar que eres superior. But without Jehovah, you have nothing. Pero sin Jehová no eres nada. You have no power. You have no superiority. No tienes por ninguna sub, ni ser super, superior. Let's go to section 2B. Vamos a la sección 2B. Turn to Jeremiah 2, please. Vamos a Jeremías capítulo 2. Jeremiah 2, please. Jeremías capítulo 2. Jeremiah 2, verse 1 through 13. Jeremías 2, del 1 al 13. Jeremiah 2. Jeremías 2. Verse 1 through 13. Del 1 al 13. How many people want to be like Reuben today? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren ser como Reuben el día de hoy? How many people want to be like Yosef? ¿O cuántos de ustedes quieren ser como Yosef? Yosef was steady. José era estable. Jeremiah, Yirmiyahu, chapter 2, verse 1 through 13. Jeremías 2, del 1 al 13. When you guys say amen. Cuando lo tengan, digan amen, por favor. The word of Jehovah came to me. Go and shout in the ears of Yerushalayim that this is what Jehovah says. I remember your devotion when you were young. How as a bride you loved me. How you followed me through the desert, through a land not sown. Israel is set aside for Jehovah, the first fruits of his harvest. All who devour him will incur guilt. Evil will befall them, says Jehovah. Hear the word of Jehovah, house of Israel, Yaakov, and all the families of the house of Israel. Here is what Jehovah says. What did your ancestors find wrong with me to make them go so far from me? To make them go after nothing, nothings and become themselves nothings? They didn't ask, where is Jehovah? Who brought us out of the land of Egypt, who led us through the desert, through the, a land of wastes and ravines, through a land of drought and dark, death, dark shadows, through a land where no one travels and where no one ever lived. I brought you into a fertile land to enjoy its fruits and all its good things. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage loathsome. The Kohanim didn't ask, Where's Jehovah? Those who deal with the Torah did not know me. The people's shepherd rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after things of no value. So again, I state my case against you, says Adonai the state, and state it against your, your grandchildren too. Cross the coast of the Kittim and look. Send to Gadar and observe closely. See if anything like this has ever happened before. Has a nation ever exchanged its gods and theirs are not gods at all? Yet my people have exchanged their glory for something without value. Be aghast at this, you heavens. Shudder in absolute horror, says I deny. For my people have committed two evils. They've abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, cisterns that can hold no water. Amen? Wow. That's a powerful piece of work. Eso es algo muy poderoso. Verse 5. Versículo 5. Here's what Jehovah says. What did your ancestors find wrong with me to make them go so far from me? To make them go after nothing and themselves become nothing. Do you hear the pain in God's voice? Escuchar el dolor en la voz de Dios. Do you feel his hurts? Escucha, puedes ver el dolor que él tiene. What did I do so wrong? ¿Qué hice yo tan mal? You see that in marriages that break up. ¿Ves eso en los matrimonios cuando se rompen? Or where a, a husband is an adulterer. Donde el esposo es un adulterio. And the wife says, what did I do so wrong? La esposa va a decir, ¿qué hice yo tan mal? I was a good wife to you. Yo fui una buena esposa para ti. And now even more, you have women doing the same thing. Ahora tienes mujeres haciendo lo mismo. But God says, Pero Dios dice, as our husband, como esposo. What did I do so bad? ¿Qué hice yo tan mal? Why did you go so far from me? ¿Por qué te alejaste tanto de mí? I only wanted to give you the best. Yo solamente quería darte lo mejor. Just walk with me. Solamente camina conmigo. Why do you got to read books about the Bible? Isn't my Bible enough? ¿Por qué tienes que leer libros de la Biblia? ¿Acaso mi Biblia no es suficiente? Why do you got to follow other people? Didn't I myself walk for you? ¿Por qué tienes que seguir a otras personas? Yo no mismo caminé por ti. Why do you got to seek other gods? ¿Por qué tienes que buscar otros dioses? Why does it always look so much funner on the other side? ¿Por qué se ve todo tan lejos del otro lado? Why do we walk away from him? Porque nosotros nos alejamos de él. That he has to chastise us. Que nos tiene que castigar. 
Here's what Jehovah says. What did your ancestors find wrong with me to make them go so far away from me? To make them go after nothings and become themselves nothing. He's calling you nothing when you walk away from him. Está diciendo que somos nada cuando nosotros nos alejamos de Dios. How many, how many people want to be nothing to God? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren ser nada ante los ojos de Dios? That's not good. Eso no es algo bueno. Yeshua came. Yeshua vino. The Son of the Living God. El Dios del el hijo del Dios vivo. To give you an example. Para darte un ejemplo. Why do we got to walk away from that example? Porque tenemos que alejarnos de ese ejemplo. Look at verse 6. They didn't ask, where is Jehovah who brought us out of the land of Egypt who led us through the desert, through the land of wastes, ravines, through a land of drought and death, dark shadows, through a land where no one travels and where no one lived. Amen? Even the leaders. Hasta los líderes. They're not saying, where is Jehovah? No están diciendo, ¿dónde está Jehová? They got donkeys like Joe Osteen teaching 30,000 people. Tienen burros así como Joe Osteen que está enseñando a 33,000 personas. Questioning Preguntando. Paul and Peter and John. Preguntándole a Pablo, Pedro y a Juan. Who are you a goy to be questioning these Jewish men? ¿Quién eres tú un goy para cuestionar a estos hombres judíos? They followed. Ellos siguieron. Peter walked with my God. Y caminaron con mi Dios. And you, this dumb Christian from Texas, este, question him? Este tonto eh, cristiano de Texas cuestionando. Where are the leaders? ¿Dónde están los líderes? There should be an outcry. Debe haber un llamado. There should be an outcry. Debe haber un llamado. But God is saying, your leaders don't ask for me. Los Dios está diciendo, los, tus líderes no, no me preguntan. Are my mí. laws so that so bad? Mis leyes son tan malas. I tell you not to have sex with a cow. Is that so bad? Te digo que no tengas relaciones sexuales con una vaca. Eso es tan malo. I tell you to stand up in the presence of a gray-haired person. Digo que te levantes en la presencia de una persona Or sin cabello. No person. O una persona sin cabello. <laughs> Is that so bad? Es algo, eso tan malo. Oh, I want to eat pig. Yo quiero comer cerdo. God is saying to us, I'm a husband. Dios está diciendo a nosotros, soy tu esposo. Did I not provide for you, for you my bride? No te cuidé yo, mi novia. A land flowing with halab and debash, milk and honey. Una tierra lleno de miel y leche. Look at verse 12 and 13. En el versículo 12 y 13. Be aghast at this, you heavens. Shudder in absolute horror, says Adonai, for my people have committed two evils. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can't hold any water. Amen? Amen. Yeshua turned the cistern into living water. Yeshua convirtió las cisternas en agua viva. At wed the wedding at Cana. En la boda de Canaan. Yeshua said to the woman, Yeshua le dijo a la mujer, I give you this glass of living water Te doy este vaso de agua viva. to well up in eternity. Para estar en la eternidad. But my people, he's saying, Pero dice, Mi pueblo. they've abandoned me. God is saying, the hope is saying this. Dios está diciendo, Me aban abandonado. You dig your own cisterns. Tú mismo has, has, eh, hecho tus propias cisternas. You're digging your own graves. Estás tú haciendo tus propias tumbas. You're digging your own graves. Estás haciendo tu propia tumba. Let's go on to section 2C. Vamos a la sección 2C. Exodus 17. Exodus 17. Exodus 17. Shemot 17. Exodus 17. Do you feel God's pain in Jeremiah too? Pueden escuchar el dolor de Dios en el libro de Jeremías. Have you ever read it like that before? Han leído esto anteriormente de esta manera. Make the scriptures come alive in your life, people. Eso Read it slow. Eso hace que las escrituras entren en tu vida. Léelo lentamente. What did I do so wrong, he says. Él dice, ¿qué hice yo tan mal? Exodus 17, please. Exodus 17. I gave you fruit trees. Te di árboles con frutas. I gave you safety. Te di seguridad. I gave you homes. Te di casas. I was in your presence. Yo estaba en tu presencia. And you don't say, where is he? Cuando uno dice, ¿dónde está él? Exodus 17. Exodus 17. Signs and wonders. Señales y maravillas. We're going to read verse 1 through 8. Vamos a leer del 1 al 8. The whole community of the people of Israel left the scene desert traveling in stages as Adonai had ordered and camped at Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. The people quarreled with Moshe demanding, give us water to drink. But Moshe replied, why pick a fight with me? Why are you testing Jehovah? However, the people were thirsty for water 
there and grumbled against Moshe for what did you bring us up from Egypt to kill us? Our children, our livestock with thirst? Moshe cried out to Adonai, Why am I to, what am I to do with these people? They're ready to stone me. Jehovah answered Moshe, Go on ahead of the people and bring with you the leaders of Israel. Take your staff in your hand, the one you used to strike the river, and go. I will stand in front of you. There on the rock at Horeb, you are to strike the rock and the water will come out of it so the people can drink. Moshe did do this in the sight of the leaders of Israel. The place named Massah, testing, and Mirabah, quarreling because of the quarreling of the people of Israel and because they tested Jehovah by asking, is Jehovah with us or not? Then Amalek came and fought with Israel and Rephidim. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 1. En el versículo uno, por favor. The whole community of people of Israel left the scene desert traveling in stages as Jehovah had ordered and camped at Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Amen? Amen. When we don't follow the Lord, Cuando seguimos al Señor, He'll start taking away your water. Va a empezar a quitarte tu agua. And that's why I think more and more people are seeking the truth nowadays. We're getting more and more people like these two new people that came today. I, I, I haven't had a chance to talk with you. But I'm sure there's an interesting story how you got to this place. When you're away from God and you don't have that living water you start to get bitter empiezas a ponerte una persona amarga you start to get bitter te conviertes en una persona amarga and instead of crying to God you, you pick on your leaders en mejor de llorar y llamar a Dios empiezas a señalar a tus líderes when it is Jehovah is the one who brings the water cuando Jehová es el que trae el agua 11 states out west would like him to bring their wa the water now 11 states 11 states that would like him to bring the water now have fires going on right now out of control fires 11 because Jehovah said I'm not going to bring the rain I'm not going to bring that living water that Mayim Chaim look at verse 2 en el versículo 2. The people called with Moisha demanding, give us water to drink. But Moisha replied, why pick a fight with me? Why are you testing Adonai? Amen? Amen. Why were they picking a fight with Moisha? ¿Por qué quieren pelear con Moisés? Did he own the bodega on the corner? ¿Era el dueño de la bodega en la esquina? Oscar, I want you to go down there Oscar, quiero to que the corner sal... store and buy all the water they got. Quiero que vayas a la tienda en la que compren todo el agua que está ahí. Honey, I want you to go to the corner bodega and go get some more water. Honey, quiero que vayas a la bodega en la esquina y traigas todo el agua que está ahí. What do you think? I got a water bottle. No piensa que vaya a querer todas esas aguas de botella. These people forgot that the Lord drowned the Egyptians. Esta gente se olvidó que el Señor este ahogó a estos egipcios. When you don't have water. Cuando no tienes agua. People can go a lot longer without food. Las personas pueden durar más tiempo sin comida. But when you don't have water, Pero cuando tienes agua, people will start to fight over it. La gente va a empezar a pelear por el agua. Look at verse 6. En el versículo 6. I will stand in front, in front of you, there on the rock in Horeb. You are to strike the rock and water will come out of it so, that, so the people can drink. Moshe did this in the sight of the leaders of Israel. Amen? Amen. Moshe, the leader, the, the shamash of the Lord, Moisés, el líder del, del Señor, struck the rock golpeó la piedra in front of the leadership delante del todo el liderazgo and in the middle of the desert y en la mitad del desierto the Mayim Chaim came running out. El agua viva salió de ahí. Look, thank goodness, he has put up a bodega in the middle of the town. Mira, hay una bodega en la mitad del desierto. Oh, thank goodness, the water came flowing out of the rock. This is, this is wonderful. El agua salió de la roca, esto es algo maravilloso. He struck the rock. El golpeó la roca. And in the middle of the desert. En la mitad del desierto. After seeing that, después de haber visto eso, why wander from God? Porque alejarte de Dios. Why wander from God? Porque alejarte de Dios. Leaders, he brought the leaders there. Why? Él llevó a los líderes ahí. ¿Por qué? So that you could tell everybody else. Para que tú le puedas decir a todas las otras personas. Margarita, you're to be a leader. Margarita, tienes que ser un líder. We're to be leaders in the world, people. Tenemos que ser líderes en el mundo. 
People look to leaders for good and bad. La gente mira a los líderes para cosas buenas y malas. We look to our Yeshua for the good. Nosotros miramos a Yeshua para lo bueno. That's why he came to be a leader. Por eso convierte uno en un líder. Look at verse 8. Vean el versículo 8. Then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. Amen. Mm. Why is this right after Moses struck the rock? Porque esto viene después que Moisés este golpeó la piedra. Because Claribel. Porque Claribel. You can't go into battle without the living water. No puedes entrar a la batalla si no tienes el agua viva. Libio, you can't go into battle without the living water. No puedes ir a la batalla si no tienes el agua viva. Dion. <laughs> you can't go into battle without the living water. No puedes ir a la batalla si no tienes el agua viva. You must drink from God's living water. Tienes que tomar del agua viva del Señor. Before going into battle. Antes de entrar a la batalla. Carmen, do you see it? Carmen, lo puedes You got to drink of that water. Tienes que tomar esa agua. Before you go into battle. Antes que entres a la batalla. Turn to Deuteronomy 28. Vamos a Deuteronomio 28. Verse 11 and 12, Deuteronomio 28. Deuteronomio 28, versículo 11 y 12. Connor, how long am I in? Deuteronomy 28, verse 11. I know we started a little bit later. How long am I in, please? Go check the camera. 2.15? Oh, okay. Yeah, we started a little bit later and the news was long. Deuteronomy 28, verse 11 and 12. Is everybody okay? Stand Need to stand up doing some jumping jacks? You mean stand up? Go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this. Go like this, go like this. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 11 and 12. Deuteronomy 28, versículo 11 y 12. I and I will give you great abundance of good things, of fruit of your body, the fruit of the livestock, the fruit of the, your land, in the land I and I swore to your ancestors to give you. I and I will open for you his good treasure, the sky, to give your land its rain at the right seasons, and to bless everything you undertake You will lend to many nations, not borrow. Look at verse 11 again, please. Dale el versículo 11 de nuevo, por favor. I and I will give you great abundance of good things in the fruit of your body, the fruit of your livestock, the fruit of your land, in the land on and I swore to your ancestors to give you. Amen? Amen. If you follow God, si sigues a Dios, if you're a good wife, si eres una buena esposa, He will bless you. Él te va a bendecir. If you don't wander away. Si no te alejas de él. If you walk on the narrow path. Si caminas en el camino angosto. Why did Yeshua say go in through the narrow gates? Porque Yeshua dice que entremos en el portón angosto. Because he says my road is a narrow road. Porque él dice que mi camino es un camino angosto. He wants to bless us. Él quiere bendecirnos. He has promised to bless us. Le ha prometido bendecirnos. Look at verse 12. En el versículo 12. Adonai will open for you His good treasure, the sky, to give you, give your land its rain at the right season, and to bless everything you undertake. You will lend to many nations and not borrow. Amen. Amen. He wants to bless us with the treasures of heaven. Él quiere bendecirnos con los tesoros del cielo. The proper amount of rain. La lluvia apropiada, la cantidad apropiada. See, this whole message is about the Mayim Chaim, that living water that comes out of heaven. Este mensaje es todo sobre el agua viva que viene desde el cielo. He wants to open up the treasure of the sky. Él quiere abrir el tesoro del cielo. What's the treasure of the sky, Oscar? ¿Qué es el tesoro del cielo? The rain at, with the right amount. La lluvia, la, la cantidad apropiada. Too much, it causes flooding. Que mucho, si mucho a causa inundación. Too little, the plants die. Y muy poquito, las plantas se mueren. Too much sun, mucho, too hot for the plants. Mucho sol, muy caliente para las plantas. Too little sun, the plants don't grow. Y muy poco sol, las plantas no crecen. He wants to give you the treasures. Quiere darte te los tesoros. He wants to give you the treasures of water. Quiere darte los tesoros del agua. Now, let's see. Ahora vamos a ver. If all those Sunday worshipers todas esas personas que adoran los domingos are right about that we don't have to follow the Torah anymore. Que están correcto que no tenemos que seguir más el Torah. Do we need to follow the law of our king anymore? Tenemos que seguir la ley de nuestro rey. Is this law of jealousy still in effect today? Esta ley de celos todavía está en efecto el día de hoy. Is it still in effect today? Está en efecto hasta el día de hoy. Let's now look at verse 46 through 48. Ahora vamos a Deuteronomio 28, 46 al 48. These curses will be on you and your descendants and a sign and a wonder forever. Because you didn't serve Adonai your God with joy and gladness 
in your heart when you had so, such an abundance of everything. And I will send your enemy against you, and you will serve him when you are hungry, thirsty, poor clothed, and lacking everything. He will put a yoke of, of iron on your neck until he destroys you. Amen? Amen. Let's look at verse 47. Vamos al versículo 47. Because you didn't serve Adonai your God with joy and gladness in your heart when you had so much abundance of everything. Amen? Amen. See, God is saying that we got to invite him in when we're having joyous times. Dios está diciendo que debemos invitarlo cuando estamos alegres. Many people skip going to church and going to congregation when things are really good. Muchas personas dejan ir a la iglesia o la congregación cuando las cosas están bien. Oh man, I'm so tired. I'm just going to sleep today. I'm happy. Soy muy cansado. Estoy contento. Voy a dormir hasta tarde. Oh, but when your back's hurting, oh. Cuando tu espalda está dolida. When your mama's got cancer. Cuando tu mamá tiene cáncer. When you can't breathe. Cuando no puedes respirar. Oh, that's when people start coming back to congregation. Eso es cuando las personas regresan otra vez a la congregación. God says. Dios dice. You didn't bring me in in your joy. No me, no me invitaste cuando estabas alegre. I'm going to send some things upon you. Voy a mandar cosas sobre ti. Verse 48. Versículo 48. And I will send your enemy against you and you will serve him when you are hungry, thirsty, poor, clothed, and lacking everything. He will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he destroys you. Uy. The key word there is thirsty. Turn on the projector, Connor. La palabra aquí es, es C. The key word there is thirsty. La palabra clave aquí es sed. I'm going to show you some things to prove to you. Te voy a mostrar cosas que esto prueban. God keeps his word. Que Dios mantiene sus palabras. That he is a husband to us. Que él es un esposo para nosotros. You don't need Okay. It's going to warm up in a second. On mo on Monday I got the word water. En lunes recibí la palabra agua. That's fine. I got the word water in as as a um, as a theme for this message for today. El lunes recibí la palabra agua para este tema para el mensaje del día de hoy. On Monday afternoon, el lunes por la tarde. I get this picture from my son Tristan. Arquero esta foto de de mi hijo Tristan. Skip to the next uh, slide, there, Connor. Uh, I'll get my little thing here. Miércoles. When, it was Mier Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Wednesday was porn. Era el miércoles. Wednesday. <laughs> That's our street. Esa es nuestra calle. That's a car. Ese es un carro. That's a lot of water, people. Eso es mucha agua. <laughs> That's a lot of water coming right outside of our window. Eso es mucha agua que se podía ver desde, desde nuestra ventana. It was raining an inch of rain per hour. Estaba lloviendo una pulgada por hora. Then, later on in the week, después durante la semana, I get this picture. Eh, me mandan esta foto. That is a glacier in Antarctica. Ese es un témpano de hielo en Antártica. That looks like it's bleeding. Se parece como si estuviera sangrando. Why would the water become no good? ¿Por qué el agua se convertiría en algo que no sería bueno? That's two things. Esas son dos cosas. This is one of the fires that's going on in Yosemite National Park. Esto es uno de los eh, fuegos que está pasando en el parque de Yosemite. Out that way en esa, en ese lado is the water es el agua that supplies the city of San Francisco. Que de, de agua, a, a, de manda agua a la ciudad de San Francisco. San Francisco is the gay capital of the world. San Francisco es la, la, la capital de los homosexuales. San Francisco is about to have no water. San Francisco muy pronto no, no va a tener agua. Because all the ashes of and this fire is getting where the water is it, water is. Todas las cenizas y esta, estas llamas están yendo donde se encuentra el agua. So the Mayim Chaim is now not going to be living water anymore. Ahora el agua viva ya no va a ser más agua viva. It's going to become you can't drink it. Va a, va a convertirse agua que no se va a poder beber. That's three things. Esas son tres cosas. That's the great state of Oklahoma. Ese es el estado de Oklahoma. On Thursday, el jueves, there is a city in Oklahoma. Hay una ciudad en Oklahoma. And people were turning on their tap water. 
donde las personas estaban abriendo su, sus, las llaves de su, de su agua. And these bugs were coming out of the water. Y estos insectos estaban saliendo del agua. That if you drink these bugs, si tú tomas esto, comes estos insectos, it'll make your inside swell up. va a hacer que tu est estómago y adentro se hinche. And you'll start urinating blood. Y vas a empezar a orinar sangre. They called blood bugs. Y se llaman insectos de sangre. So an entire city una ciudad entera in the middle of our in the heartland en nuestro corazón en la mitad del país in the bible belt en el cinturón de la biblia has no water to drink no tiene agua para tomar the maim chaim el maim chaim these are bluefish esos son pescados azules tuna azul. fish people know them as tuna fish pescados de tuna that de were caught off of california que fueron cogidos en las costas de california Now those would go for a lot of money. Esos, eh, costarían mucho dinero. But you can't eat them. Pero ya no puedes comerlos. They're radioactive. Tienen radiación. The Mayim Chaim. El agua viva. Where all the fish are in the Pacific Ocean. Entonces, donde están los peca pescados en el mar Pacífico. You can't eat those fish. Ya no puedes comer estos pescados. Is God our husband angry with us? Son Dios, Dios nuestro esposo está furioso con nosotros. Is the law of jealousy still there? La ley de los celos todavía existe hasta el día de hoy. The law of embitterment. La ley de amargura. And then yesterday, y ayer, I was finishing up writing this message. Estaba terminando de escribir este mensaje. During the day. Durante el día. You can turn off the projector, please. Projector. Projector. Connor, are you paying attention, please? You're playing with that phone. I'm going to stamp on it. It's mine. I send out the emails during Thursday and Friday. Mandé los correos electrónicos entre el jueves y el viernes. We have 12,000 people I email out to. Tenemos más de 1,200 personas que se le mandan estos correos electrónicos. And I get a, a message from one of them. Y él quiere un mensaje por, de uno de ellos. Info at livingwaters.com. Información de aguaviva.com. Wants to be taken off our mailing list. Quiere que nos saquemos de la lista de mandatos. This is Ray Comfort's organization. Esto es una organización de. I'm sorry, what you Ray said? Comfort. Oh, de Gran Comfort. The guy who works with Kirk Cameron and they let left behind movies. Oh, okay, con Kirk, con Kirk Cameron que traen las películas de dejado atrás. So I say why. Le pregunto por qué. And the person says we get too many emails. I say to the person, ah, come on, give me the real reason. No, dígame la razón verdadera por qué. And she says, my boss told me. Mi, mi jefe me dijo. And I said, tell your boss, give me your boss's phone number, I'll call him. So this guy calls me from Living Waters Ministry, Ray Comfort's ministry. Me llama del Ministerio de Agua Viva. And, I, and he goes, do you know that this is spam? I said, you're calling God's word spam? ¿Tú estás llamando la palabra de Dios basura? You pagan? Eres un pagano. He said, stop calling me a pagan. I said, why? You're a pagan. Déjame estar llamándome pagano. Sí, eres un pagano. Which is the fourth commandment? ¿Cuál es el cuarto mandamiento? Saturday or Sunday? Sábado o domingo. He hung up on me. Me colgó. Out of 12,000 emails, de 1,200 correos electrónicos, I got one phone call from Living Waters. Recibí una llamada de Agua Viva. Maim Chaim, de Maim Chaim, from this pagan Sunday worshiper. De ese hombre pagano que adora los domingos. What is God trying to tell us? Que nos Dios nos está tratando de decir. Turn to John 7. Vamos a Juan 7. John 7. Juan 7. Verse 37 through 43. Two more scriptures. 37 al 43. John 7, Juan 7, verse 37 to 43. Versículo del 37 al 43. Think God's trying to tell us something with the events of the world this week? ¿Qué piensa que Dios nos está dando a decirnos lo que está sucediendo con los eventos de esta semana? I'm going to change your gay living water into water you can't drink. Voy a convertir el agua que lo que toman los homosexuales en agua que no vas a poder tomar. I'm going to change the Bible Belt water where you cannot drink. Voy a cambiar el agua en el cinturón de la vida donde no vas a poder volver a tomar. I'm going to send you an iceberg that's bleeding blood. Voy a mandando un témpano de hielo que está sangrando sangre. I'm going to have a ministry call you that says they're living water. Voy a un ministerio que te se llama agua viva. You are not living water. No eres agua viva. Living water means you're following Torah. El agua viva significa que estás siguiendo el Torah. 
Now on the last day of the festival, Hoshiana Rabbah, Yeshua stood up and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him keep coming to me and drinking. Whoever puts his trust in me, as the scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from his innermost being. Now he said this about the spirit whom those, those who trusted in him were received later. Yeshua had not yet been given, the, but Yeshua had not yet been glorified. On hearing the, his words, the, some people in the crowd said, Surely this man is the prophet. Others said, this man, this is the Messiah. But others said, how can the Messiah come from Gilal? Doesn't the Tanakh say the Messiah is from the seed of David and comes from Beit Lachem, in the village where David lived? So the people were divided because of him. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 37. Ven el versículo 37, por favor. Now on the last day of the festival, Hoshiana Rabbah, Yeshua stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him keep coming to me and drinking. Amen? Amen. Drinking what? Tomando que? The living water. El agua viva. When, does it, when was he doing it? Cuando estaba haciendo esto. The last day of Sukkot. El último día de Sukkot. When is the last day of Sukkot? Cuando es el último día de Sukkot. You will not know that no vas a saber eso until we sight the moon. Hasta que veamos la luna. But the church is not taking the living water. Y la iglesia no está tomando el agua viva. Verse 38. Versículo 38. Whoever puts his trust in me, as the scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from his innermost being. Amen? Amen. Well up inside of you. Que crezca dentro de ti. Rivers will flow from you. La, ríos van a salir de ti. I don't say these things about Joel Osteen to hurt him. Yo no digo estas cosas, Joel Osteen, para lastimarlo. I say these things so he would turn from his evil ways. Le digo estas cosas para que se aleje de sus caminos malos. I don't say these bad things about Ray Comfort. No digo estas cosas malas de Ray Comfort. I say these things so he would turn from his pagan ways. Así puede alejarse de sus camin el camino pagano que tiene. We got so many bad things going on, people. Tenemos muchas cosas malas que están sucediendo. But I got my Jesus. I got my Jesus bumper sticker. I got my Jesus bracelet. I got my Jesus t-shirt. But I'm not getting ready for Messiah's holy days. Verse 43. So the people were divided because of him. Amen. Amen. Yeah, people are going to get divided about this message. Muchas personas van a dividir por este mensaje. You're going to get divided. Vas a ser dividido. But there is only one way. Pero hay un solo camino. There's only one truth. Y una sola verdad. And there's only one way to live your life. Y una sola forma de vivir tu vida. Final scripture. Turn to Exodus 15. Última escritura, vamos a Exodus capítulo 15. Verse 22 to 26. Versículo 22 al 26. You might want to underline it. Te gustaría subrayar esto. Shemot 15, verse 22 to 26. Exodus 15, del 22 al 26. Shemot 15, verse 22 to 26 says, Moshe led Israel onward from the Sea of Sup. They went out into the sure desert, but after traveling three days in the desert, they had found no water. They arrived at Marah, but couldn't drink the water because it was bitter. This is why they called it Marah. The people grumbled against Moshe and asked, What are we to drink? Moshe cried to Adonai, Jehovah, and Jehovah showed him a certain piece of wood which when he threw it in the water, made the water taste good. There Adonai made laws and rules of life for them. And there he tested them. He said, if you will listen intently to the voice of Jehovah your God, your Elohim, do what he considers right, pay attention to his mitzvot, observe his laws, and I will not afflict you with any of these diseases I brought on the Egyptians, because I am Jehovah Rapha, your healer. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 23. They arrived at Marah but couldn't drink the water there because it was bitter. This is why they called it Marah. Amen? Amen. The water around our country is getting bitter. Two kids executed in Newark yesterday. The water you can't drink in Oklahoma. The water that's not going to be able to be drunk in San Francisco. Why? Because we walked away from God. Eleven states that are on fire? Come on! This has never happened before. You can't eat the fish 
out of the ocean in the Pacific. No puedes comer el pescado que viene del, del océano Pacífico. Look at verse 25. En el versículo 25. Underline it in your Bible. Subrayenlo en sus Biblias. Moshe cried to Adonai and, and Jehovah showed him a certain piece of wood which when he threw it in the water made the water taste good. Therefore Jehovah made laws and rules of life for them and there he tested them. Amen. Amen. You got to put the wood in the water. Tienes que poner la madera en el agua. If your water is being bitter, si tu agua es amarga, you got to put the, wo the wood in the water. Tienes que poner la madera en el What agua. is the wood that makes the water taste sweet? Es la madera que hace el agua que se vuelva dulce. It's the wood that Yeshua was on. Es la madera donde estaba Yeshua. You got to put him in the middle of your life. Tienes que poner en la mitad de tu vida. You got to be the bride. Tienes que ser la novia. Did I do something so bad? Hice algo tan mal. That you should walk away. Que te tienes que alejar de mí. I'm going to give you rules. Te voy a dar reglas. How will the people of San Francisco survive? Como la gente de San Francisco sobreviven. Walk away from an abomination called homosexuality. Caminar, alejarse de la abominación que se llama la homosexualidad. It's a choice you're making. It's a bad choice. Es una decisión que haces. Es una decisión mala. It's a choice that's going to lead you to hell. Es una decisión que te va a llevar al infierno. It's a choice with a fire. Donde el fuego. The fire. El fuego. The fire. El fuego. The ashes from the fire. Las cenizas del fuego. Is going into your water. Donde va a entrar en tu agua. So you can't drink it. Así no puedes tomar de ella. Get the picture, people. Entienden la foto. You got to put the wood in the water. Tienes que poner la madera en el agua. To make the water taste sweet. Así el agua va a estar dulce. Final part, verse 26. Última parte, versículo 26. He said, if you will listen intently, intently to the voice of Jehovah, your Elohim, do what he considers right, pay attention to his mitzvot, commandment, and observe his laws, I will not afflict you with any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, because I am Adonai, Jehovah, your Rapha, your healer. He's promising something. Él está prometiéndonos algo. Listen to the water. Escucha el agua. There's Maim Chaim coming down from heaven. Este Maim Chaim que viene desde el cielo. Learn the lesson from the well. Aprendan la lección del pozo. Learn the lesson from the wedding at Cana. Aprendan la lección de la boda de Cana. Our God is jealous. Nuestro Dios es un Dios celoso. He is sending the water of embitterment to our nation. Está mandando el agua de amargura a nuestra nación. Because he said he was a husband to us. Porque él dijo que era un esposo para nosotros. And we are being adulterous to him. Y estamos siendo adúlteros hacia él. Do not be like Reuben and be all over the place as water or you will have no wine at your wedding he is giving us signs and wonders but put the special ingredient in the water put the wood in the water and then you will have maim Amen. Amen. Why don't we just bow our hearts for a moment? Thank you, Jehovah, for your blessings today. Thank you for everything you're doing. And offering us this living water. If you're out there and you've never accepted the living water, I'm going to say a short prayer and offer you this living water. Y ofrecerte esta agua viva. Say Yeshua. Di Yeshua. I've never accepted you into my heart. Nunca te ha aceptado en mi corazón. But today. Pero hoy. I realize. Me he dado cuenta. That you are the living water. Que tú eres el agua viva. I've made a lot of mistakes. Yo he hecho muchos errores. I'm asking for your forgiveness now. Estoy pidiendo por tu perdón hoy día. I ask you to wash me. Quiero que me laves. Clean me. Me limpies. Make me something new. Y hazme algo nuevo. So I can live in eternity with you. Así puedo vivir en la eternidad contigo. If you've done that for the very first time, si has hecho por primera vez, then you are born again. Has nacido de nuevo. But Yeshua said this last thing. Pero Yeshua dijo esta última cosa. That if you do not profess me before man, si tú no me dices delante de los hombres, I cannot. Yo no voy a, and will not y no lo haré. profess you before my Father in heaven. So if you've done that for the very first time si has hecho eso por primera vez, and you meant it in your heart y lo dices de corazón, just slip up your hand so we can pray with you. Levanta tu mano para dar contigo. If you're doing this and you're hearing this on radio or television or internet, let me know. Si estás escuchando en el radio, televisión, internet, déjanos saber. So we can pray with you. Así podemos orar contigo. In your name, Yeshua. En tu nombre, Yeshua. 
Amen. 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 Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B E T H G O Y I M dot org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close this Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many 
different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.